Starline TV. Power to transform lives. Powerline TV. Power to transform lives. Powerline TV. Power to transform lives. Powerline TV. Power to transform lives.
Welcome back to week of the altar, week one, day five. It has been awesome. It has been warfare. It has been back to back, fire, fire, left, right, center. I can assure you that the enemies in your in your village are suffering because listen, this year whoever followed you, whoever has decided to cause you pain, whichever Herod has decided to put you in prison is in trouble because God is about to allow his altar to speak and your life will never be the same. I welcome you again and I say God richly bless you for tuning in and joining us again as you have always been. Wherever you are watching from, please stay tuned. Be assured that God is about to turn your life around. If you are watching from the US, you are watching from Africa, you are watching from any part of the world, I want you to know that you can share the link on Royal House Chapel for all our Francophone friends. You can also share the link on um, Facebook Royal House Chapel for all our Francophone friends, Facebook, Sam Crunchy, Ankara for the English speaking countries. If you have a cousin who is in Ivory Coast, in Togo, in Mali, in Burkina Faso, please send a link and let the power of the altar speak for them also. Um, today, I am here with my guests again. I am Reverend Anthony Labi, and I will be joining you with Reverend Bernice Carter who is the head of the Women in Ministry in Royal House Chapel, and Dr. Winfred Barr, who is the head of our medical team. And today is going to be awesome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Today, I can promise you, on Friday is a very wonderful day. You, you can see our mantles. Uh, we, we'll tell you why we have our mantles here. And we are going to pray for our, our siblings who are in school, and we are going to have a wonderful time together. Stay tuned. I'll be back from this short break. You must also go to an altar that is higher than you, and tonight this is our consolation. Who is Herod here? Herod is a leader who loves to see blood. Herod hates people who has a future, who are going somewhere. His grandfather was the one who went after Jesus Christ because he saw his star in Matthew chapter 2. This same Herod, his nephew, went after John the Baptist and cut off his head. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. What is the purpose of the sword? To bring shame to us. is the assignment of this sword. What you don't know, what killed your father, what killed your grandfather, if you don't stop it today, your enemies will be happy to kill another member of your family with the same sickness. The unleavened bread will deliver you from the hands of a wicked hero in your family, in your community, in your village, and wherever you are. Can you shout and say, Lord, I am ready? Prophetic talking, constant prayer will cause the iron gate leading into the city. What is it? Your place of liberty, your place of expectation, the place where commercial activities are taking place, where your money is hiding, where your husband is hiding, where your wife is hiding. Every Iron gate, satanic gate, preventing me from having access and moving on to the next level. Uh, open! Open! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for connecting. That was an awesome time yesterday. That, that you just watched a recap of what happened yesterday at the Arena of Warfare. And wherever you are, I want you to keep sending your messages. Tell us how you enjoyed the service, what you, you were blessed with, what ministered to you. Just keep them coming, and I'm going to share your thoughts, your comments with the rest of the world. Um, Pastor Benis, welcome back. Thank you. Um, how was yesterday's service for yeah. you? For me, yesterday was a prayer answered for me because I came into the service with an expectation mm -hmm. and the man of God was spot on. Hey. 
This morning on my status, I said, listen, if you haven't joined us at week of the altar, <laughs> then you are really missing. I don't know what you are doing. Yesterday, Reverend Adam led us to pray against any herald. Any herald. That does not want us. Mm our destiny, mm. our future, mm. what God has destined for us in the year 2024 mm. to come to pass. Mm. Any herald mm. that has been harassing mm. us, any herald that is tormenting us Jesus. and hindering us hey. from entering into our city, like hey, Apostle General said, our city. we prayed and I myself out yesterday. I can see from your voice. Oh, come I, on up. Your, your Seriously. <laughs> this you morning really I woke prayed. up and my voice is all Oh, gone. my goodness. Yesterday for me was a prayer answer. Oh, Dr. Ba, yeah, what, what is your version? Yesterday was so awesome. Uh -huh. We really prayed a lot. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about um, praying against cycles. Cycles. The Herod took James mm -hmm. and killed James. Mm -hmm. And he said that the people were happy. Hey. Anybody who is happy because you are not doing well, Jesus. Today, the altar will the speak, altar will speak in the name of Jesus. And so because the people were happy, mm. he went to take Peter. Mm. But you see, Peter was, was lucky because one, it was the time of the Passover hey. and they were taking unleavened, unleavened bread. bread. And that is what we are doing now. So Wherever you are, this is the time, this is the time. to come mm. to the oil dome or connect virtually mm. because some spiritual amnesty is coming from Hey, Christ. I love that. Hey. It was the time of the Passover, so Herod could he have killed him. Now he was waiting for the end of the Passover. Ah, can I declare to somebody? Yeah. May something happen that will prevent your downfall. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Anything that is supposed to bring you pain and shame, mm. may something come in between Jesus. so that it, you will be exempted Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, so that we are talking hey. on level bread, that is what we are doing now. Tell me. Then secondly, because of that amnesty, mm. it says the church was offering constant prayer. prayer. Constant so those prayer. were the two that brought the breakthrough. Come on. And that is what we are doing. We want you to take the talkings very seriously. Yeah. Because they are going to bring that kind of, that what we need to break out of that mm -hmm. prison. Exactly. Constant prayers for the next 21 days kai, we are praying. Kai, 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 if kai, you are not kai. joining us, hey, you are missing Marco, the Lord. You are missing. Because something good is coming our way. Hey, 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 doctor, I, I like this part. Yeah. It means that if I am going to get married yeah. and I don't get a woman, mm. there are some people who are excited. They are yes. excited. It's an error. It must not happen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Pastor Ben, tell and, me something. And, and you see, yesterday, Reverend Adam said something. He said, Herod is a blood testy leader. Eesh. A leader who is testy for your pain. Mm. A leader who is testy when you are not happy. Okay. A leader who is testy ensuring that to you, you will not make it. You see, in that office that you are, there is this boss of yours. Mm. Anytime all he does is to frustrate you. Hey. Anytime there is a promotion coming your way, doctor, Jesus. this boss will ensure that that promotion will be denied. Mm. That is the kind of herald we are dealing Jesus. with. And the Bible said, because the church was offering constant prayer, like mm. Doc said, constant he killed like James we are doing, we are doing this right now. Day. Constant prayer. We are praying mm. every day. Every evening, From every the 8th oh to my the goodness. 28th Come of on. January, Come on. 5 p 5 30 yeah. to 8 p.m. My sister, you can't stay home. Mm. Oh. The place to be is Royal House Chapel. Mm. All other places have been shut down. Hey. Trust me. Hey. The altar. And yesterday, we made use of the horns on hey. the altar. Hey. We spoke. held the horn, and our papa has taught us listen. When the horn of the altar is speaking for mm. you, it doesn't matter who or which leader, mm. which herald hey. is against you, mm. the Lord will speak for you. Come on, and come victory on. will be your portion hey, in hey, the name hey, of hey, Jesus. Hey, hey. Victory is your portion. Amen. Victory is your portion. Amen. There is a place where God meets his people. Mm. And that place is Royal House Chapel, Amen. the oil dome. Or better be run out. Wherever you are, please take your car. Take the trotro, take the Uber, and join us. Mm. Because God is about to change your life. Listen, you see, today is Friday. Mm. And, and please, today is Friday. Tomorrow is weekend. Make sure 
that you spend this Friday in the presence of God very and important. your life will never be very, the same. Very important. But Re Reverend, Reverend Adam, let, let me read this. Jennifer says this. I love this. Jennifer Kobner, we, 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 we've received your message. It says, Lord, your child is here again, just not online but on the altar today. Come on. Hey, someone has come. has come. She has been watching online. She's one of our favorite yeah. online watchers and viewers. And she says, today, she's coming. She says, show me mercy mm. and bless me. Mm. Sister Jennifer, God will show you mercy. Oh, show yes. The altar will speak for you. Amen. The altar will order your steps onto your, your place of liberty. Amen. Linda, oh my goodness. Linda, Linda says, since we started the week of the altar, I have been having bad dreams, but I pray. My father, Apostle General Alter, will speak for me. He will surely speak for you. He will surely speak for you. Reverend David, we are, we thank you for joining us. You are watching us all the way from Canada, Toronto. Thank you very much for, for joining us. And Royal House Chapel, Toronto, we welcome you to the, the arena of warfare, the come source on, of the power. On, Amen. 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love this. Which prayer topic really ministered to you? Apart from the first prayer topic where we prayed against every Herod mm. in our lives, my favorite prayer topic was the sword. The sword. Reverend Adam said, there is a sword mm. with your name written hey. on it. And this sword has been directed to come and destroy your life. My sister, yesterday we prayed and we diverted that sword back to sender. Any sword with your name in on the it, name of Jesus. any obituary mm. with your name on it, hey. that you, you shall not end year 2024. Mm. Mm. I came in the name of the Lord to tell you that you, you would end year 2024. Jesus. You are not dying now. Yes, Lord. Those that want you dead, mm. they and their children's children hey. will die. My and listen, they don't only want your life cut off. Hey. They want your generations wiped off. Come on. Because you are the breadwinner. Exactly. If you die, how will your children go to school? Exactly. If you die, hmm. how will your other family who depend on you, hmm. how will they exist? Hmm. Listen, if you don't pray, the devil is moving to and fro, seeking who he may devour. Hi, he has so a right. sword with your name on it. Hey. Arise. Week of the altar, 21 days of fasting. Mm. Break every sword. Break it. Divert it By back to sender. In the name of and Jesus. let them know that your altar is speaking for mm. you. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, the thing is it's becoming tensious and bloody. <laughs> yeah. Very, it's very becoming bloody. tensious and bloody critical? because it is critical. Yeah. Because listen, there are certain you are sitting here somewhere. Yeah. Nobody has 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 told you that he's sending a, a sword, but all of a sudden. You get cancer. Mm, mm. I, 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 God. I just heard something today. I was, someone has liver, kidney, and, and heart issues. Mm. And Reverend Adam said yesterday that he was shocked in Kolebu that there was a nine-year-old who had cancer. Mm. Doc, you have been in the medical yeah. field. Tell somebody what is happening. Mm. And, and, and encourage somebody yeah. to take this thing serious and yeah. take this prayer serious. No, that, that, that's very important. We need to take this. I'm a medical doctor. And there are some of the cases you see, you cannot explain. Mm. Sometimes you see someone who is about 20 years with breast cancer. You ask yourself, how? how? A child with kidney failure. Mm. See, Peter didn't do anything to Herod. Mm -hmm. Herod only went for him because when he killed James, the others were well, happy. It. So don't tell yourself, oh, have you done anything? But so nothing evil can hey. It takes great. The devil is after you. But when you connect to an altar, Aye. and in this case, the altar of royal house, no evil, no will, evil. Come nigh you, no right? evil will come nigh you. When Peter was sent to prison, mm. the situation was set in such a way that he couldn't have come out on it. So he exactly. needed the supernatural. There were four, four, there were four, four quads. Songs. And, and they talked about the four, the yeah, number four. four. Yeah, number yeah. four. Very important. They were meaning for evil, but that tells us that in 2024, the fourth man in the family. Hey, hey, I love that. And that Ka fourth Ka man Ka is here for us. Prophesy, yes. prophesy. So the kind of situation he found himself, four quads, mm. which there are four stations of exactly. soldiers. Four, 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 four. And he was in chains. Hey. And the Bible said that when the angel came and the chains were broken, they have to pass through the first set of soldiers. Uh -huh. Then then the second. Uh -huh. 
before they went to the iron gate. Hi. And the Bible said the iron gate opened on, on its, its own accord. Let me tell you, without the supernatural without hand, the there was no way Peter could have come out of yes. it. Mm. And tonight I want you to know that that supernatural hand mm. is here for your good. Amen. That which the devil has thought he put you in and mm. you cannot come out. Mm. As we go through these 21 days, mm. that those chains will be broken. In the name of Jesus. That sickness is healed. Amen. You receive your breakthrough. Amen. That marriage will come on. In the name you of Jesus. You give birth to your children. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I'm receiving a lot of yeah. prayer requests and uh, we'll pray for them before we go into the arena of prayer. But mm -hmm. first of all, I want us to, uh, to talk about what is going to happen today. Oh. What is going to happen today. But let's, talk, let's pray for our brothers yeah. and then we'll talk about what is going to happen and then we'll zoom into the prayer mm -hmm. arena. All right, so our sister Rita Priscilla, even though I'm not around at the moment, I am glued to my online screen. Jesus. And in this year, I am... I am coming to my place of Rehoboth. Amen. Lord, have mercy and answer all my prayers. Amen. Let the supernatural empower and overshadow me in all my endeavors. Oh, my goodness. I am, she's mentioned her name. I'm watching from Takrade. Please remember me in prayer. I am believing God for restoration. Amen. I don't look my age at 36 mm. as if I am unwell. Mm. Meanwhile, I have everything by God's grace. Physically, I don't. Uh, physically, I don't look good. God should change my story this year. I am tired of being mocked. Reverend, Rev, Reverend, <laughs> Reverend Bernice, this is her sister. She wants God to give her favor. At the age of thirty-six, mm. people just look at her and bypass her. Come on now. Can you pray for her for us? Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift our sister before you. Anything that have covered her, mm. that does not make her boaz mm. to locate her. Jesus' name. Let the supernatural take charge over in her. In the name of Jesus. Let the supernatural take everything that has covered her. Mm. We unveil her today in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we ask that the supernatural shall take charge Amen. over you. Mm. After today, May the Lord cause your boas to locate you. Mm. After today, may you be fulfilled. After today, may you testify of the goodness mm. of the Lord. May you know that you have encountered an altar mm. that has transformed your life. Amen. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 This one is a long one. Please, I want, to, I want you to pray for me to be married this year. Um, she has been dating a guy for 10 years and... They, they've not been able to do traditional in marriage. In the name of Jesus, are you ready for this prayer? Oh, put your hands together for the Lord. Uh, he want, I want God to grant me divine helpers to help me so I can go outside to the UK or US to work and be blessed. Marriage, yeah. traveling yeah. mercy, yeah. favor, yeah. and money. Amen. Doctor. I want to encourage our sister to get glued to this um, program. Mm -hmm. Make sure you connect to the order. Kada, bada, that was a shaka, testimony kabra, of a lady Kada. who said he was, there are three of them, mm -hmm. they were praying for marriage. Yeah. And then she was actually the one praying for, for the them. others. But the other two got married. Hey. And they had delayed. So mm. she was wondering why. But she kept on praying with us. Exactly. And suddenly, suddenly. she got connected to this friend on ah, Facebook Galabushe. and she is now married to the person mm. in the US mm. her papers are getting Come ready. On. That will be your story. Amen. Amen. It is your thing delayed because what is coming Amen. is greater. Amen. May the oil of our altar give you that breakthrough. breakthrough. Your life will change from today. Thank that you. marriage will come on. Mm. That Amen. travel will come on. Amen. And you come and give your testimony here in Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever you are watching from all over the world, we are, we are, we are asking you, listen, if you, are, you have friends in, in the Francophone countries in Africa, all over the world, France, wherever, you can share the link from Royal House Chapel. If you want to share it with your friends who understand English, can speak English, please also share it using Sam Crunchy Ankara on Facebook. Please send your messages on, via the WhatsApp numbers on the screen and make sure you can also connect with your seed. And we'll be joining in the arena of warfare, but tonight, 
What is happening, Reverend Dennis? It's a night of the mantle. Mm. Our mantles are going to be blessed. We've been asked to bring our children, those who are in school, those who are going to write exams. They should come with their massets, their pens, and they should also come with books, subjects that are very difficult mm. for them. Mm. If your child is not doing well in math, English, social science, whatever it is, we've been asked that they should come to the altar with these books. If you cannot join us in the altar, um, in service and you can join us online mm. just make sure your children have their books by them mm -hmm. get a mantle mm. our mantles are going to be blessed mm. we are going to lay it on our children listen the difference between your child mm. and the other child is this mantle come on golden now. come on now because when this mantle is blessed and you place it upon your child the supernatural takes charge Jesus. over your child. Your child does not become an ordinary child. Mm. Your child, the Holy Ghost is in charge of your is in charge of your child. And wherever your child goes, mm. the Lord is with him. Added to it, in the exams room, that pen that they are going to use to write mm. has been blessed. Amen. And so what will happen? Mm. Success. That book or that subject that has become so difficult for that child mm. as they pray for the child with the book. Yes. The child is walking back to school mm. and the child is going to have command mm. over that subject. In the name of Jesus. The child is going to always be on top in that subject. Amen. And listen, we have countless testimonies. Yes. Somebody was praying with us, I think two years ago. Yeah. The child was not doing well, well in a particular subject. Exactly. And this woman, you see her on the altar, dog she's so vibrant yeah. beautiful lady and you wonder what is this woman looking for because she looks very good not knowing she was praying for her son mm. the altar spoke the altar spoke today the son has passed the exam ah, and is gone to university. Amen. You will be the next person to share this testimony. Amen. Amen. You you might Amen. you might be out there and you are saying that mantle you, listen the Apostle General, just any cloth, any scarf, if you are not watching, but if you are coming in, the mantles are here, you can procure yours, you can purchase yours. Just get a cloth. And when the Apostle General releases prayer, that cloth will turn into a mantle. Amen. And it will make differences in your child's life. Amen. It will cover your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before we wrap up, let me read these two messages. I, I love, I love it. It says, Bridget, Bridget says, the altar is heated for me today. Come on now. And Colin says, this week of the altar is manifesting in your life, Amen. in my life. Amen. I declare that this altar will speak for you. Amen. The testimonies you are seeing will manifest in your Amen. life. The glory of the Lord will overshadow you. Amen. Stay tuned. We'll be back and we will continue the discussion. Join us in the arena of warfare and encounter the altar that speaks. God bless you and see you later. Amen. Amen. Jesus, clap your hands and say in the name of Jesus, I will not die this year. Oh, say I will not die this year. Oh, I will not perish this year. In the name of Jesus, if Job did not die, if Jeremiah did not give up, if Paul did not give up, I will not give up. The devil meant it for evil, but I prophesy to you, no matter the matter, no matter the words, you will be strong. You will fortify on. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands and give God praise. You know, some years ago, we were, we were in worship like this. The whole place was charged. People were worshiping God. People were on the floor. 
doing their own thing. But what shocked us was that God revealed to a brother and out of the many people in the place worshiping God, rolling on the floor, God showed the brother 10 lambs and those 10 lambs represented 10 people. And what God said was that out of the many people worshiping, only 10 people were worshiping. So it means you can come to this place, worship and not be seen by God. Don't let anything distract you today. Don't let anything take you from the presence of the Lord. Don't let anything take your focus of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give him worship tonight from the innermost. 
part of your being. Worshiping in spirit. Worshiping in truth. The scriptures say that he inhabits in the praise and worship of his people. And the same thing continue to give him worship tonight. Huh? He deserves it all. Huh? He is worthy of our praise tonight. Huh? He is worthy of our worship tonight. Huh? Give him the fruit of your lips. Huh?
We worship your holy name. Yahweh.
thank God for the life of this angel of my house that so many family encountered. And since that day, our lives have never been the same. Apostle Jira and Mama Wera, God bless you for this meeting. Please, let's do it better for it, it can go louder. You can add a shout. Jesus. And they are there, Otorenum, and Numi Adum, and they do Adum Bay with you, baby. I walk or walk on Pempe and do for for baby Pierre. I say Adum Bacasamo. Yes, I fear the upper cache or the Adumono or the Ituyacham of your social or Bodo Adumna some only. I want to thank God for the preceding speakers that has led us from Monday, Apostle General. God bless you. When I saw the horn on Monday, something happened to me. God bless your heart for your tenacity for leading us several years now amen amen oh your amen didn't come louder amen first kings chapter 21 the verse number 40 pastor Kufa. i am a soul i am a soldier at the battlefield, waiting to hear the, the voice, voice of, of my commander. commander. Jesus, Jesus, if you call my name, I'll answer a billion times. I am a soldier. I am under command. I am a soldier. At the, the battlefield, battlefield, waiting to hear the voice of my commander. Jesus, Jesus if you call my name, I'll answer a billion times. Is calling my name, oh. Jesus is calling my name, oh. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer a billion times. Hey, hey, hey. Who is calling my name, oh? Jesus is calling my name, oh. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer a billion times. If you call my name, I'll answer a million times. Hey, hey, hey. I am a soldier on the battle, waiting to hear the voice of my commander. Jesus, if you call my name, you can begin to answer the Holy Ghost. The atmosphere is in our church. church. Who is calling my name? Lord? Jesus is calling my name. Lord. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer a million Who is calling? Who is calling? Who is calling my name? Oh. Jesus is calling my name. Oh. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer a billion I am a soldier on the path you feel waiting to hear. The voice of my commander, oh, Jesus. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer a billion times. Then they sent, can we give him the chance? Then they sent to Jezebel, saying, Nabot, thank you. The message was sent to Jezebel. Jezebel, Naboth has been put to death. Please take me back to the New King James. Please take me back. Then they sent messengers to Jezebel saying, Naboth has been stoned and is dead. 2024, anyone seeking your death warrant? Jesus. On the altar of our Father, yes, right. may they be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come on now. And a body holding yes, right. your death certificate, yes, right. your death warrant, yes, right. a certificate of sin, 
time Aspire. that this year Contest. you will not celebrate Aspire. but you will mourn. We aspire. May the altar Jesus. of our Father, Come on. the Apostle General, aspire. overturn. By fire. Overturn. By the blood. Overturn. By the blood. And none of you say, Obibia Waka Kaji, O Wu Krata, Obibia Waka Kaji, and Guasin Krata, Obibia Waku, maybe Aqua Bang Madude, Obokwa, and Oboku, and you must say, If there be a one she said, Obo Tido, Obibia Opera Wamo, Opamo, and Wapamo, and Apamo Kun, or would Yapanadan Kordo. Jesus, they sent messengers. Who is that messenger? Your evil report, right. my God. Who is that evil messenger ah, no, no, no. waiting to see yourself? Right. They sent messengers ah, yeah, no, no. and a messenger in 2024, Jesus, around your life, come on now. waiting to see your downfall, Jesus, waiting to see you weep, let them fall, waiting to see you come down, let them fall tonight by the power, Jesus, of the altar of our Father. Let them fall. Jesus. Oh, yeah. in the one of no, was in the one was one you don't want to that one fight one was man you on fire the in there and you feel was man you man the one was 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 the one the one was 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 the one the 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 Responsible for delivering messages or information across one board to the other board. As much for your beer, and now she said, I was at war. Or see, as if you baby for four, or to go baby for four. Number two, a messenger is an individual or an individual that serves as an intermediary agent facilitating the information of one company to the other or a messenger is the one that goes according to the bidding of his master tonight i am a messenger but my information for you tonight is good news i receive it not evil news i receive it but there are others that have gathered come on holding your evil report jesus and the evil report fire 2024 Aspire. Come into your house. Aspire. Son Aspire. Aspire. Asuma fu moto de bieni. Asuma fu yobi uti na zibin tem. Ana openi biza zamanan don't feel fear for your quarter here and it's even quite enough or be all monoma was to mana on all the pony num and the days a yes as some penna yes and Jesus help us then they send messenger to Jezebel saying Naboth is stoned and is dead there was this woman in this big company who her work has come to the recognition of this company then a command was issued from the higher authority from South Africa that promotes so and so Friday by Monday do her coronation and put her on the board. Then this lady close from work on Friday like this. Then was just going to tell her boss I have closed. I am going home so Monday I will meet you at the coronation. Then when she opened the office of the boss she saw something her eyes was not supposed to see then we fear she banged the door and she ran to the house friday she was okay saturday she was okay sunday her boss sent a fetish plus two messengers at midnight around 9 p.m they knocked this lady's door messengers and they said to her this command is coming from our boss that on Monday he doesn't want you to say anything evil or good when you are asked just keep quiet and then they left something by the door this woman they took this information lightly and slept over it Monday morning 9 a.m. everybody has arrived from all the countries she was called 
before everyone. Then she was giving the flag. And they said, lift up your left hand and put your right hand on your chest and say after me. Say, I, and mention your name, and say, I solemnly swear. The woman lifted the flag and her hand was at her chest and she couldn't talk again. She went down. Evil messengers. Immediately, the program was over and somebody else was preferred over her, which was her immediate boss, her mouth and her tongue opened. Tonight, Jesus, I'm an evil messenger. Come on now. I want to transfer and move you from your seat. Jesus. Because they want what you have. Tonight, may the altar disappoint them. In the name of Jesus. I said, tonight, may the altar fight them. In the name of Jesus. And the evil messenger. Jesus. Carrying an evil message. Aspire. Just to bring you down. Aspire. They want you to hear. That your child has been involved in an accident. They just want you to hear Jesus. that you didn't get the visa. Yeah. Then they rejoice. Yeah. Tonight, let the evil messenger Jesus. God fire. Yes. God fire. Fire. Somebody say fire. Fire. Stretch your right hand. Evil messengers. They wanted what you have. Though they are higher in, in, in power and in qualification and yet they hate what you have. Tonight, let those messengers expire. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 50%. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. By the altar. By the altar. Of my father. Of my father. I project. I project. The altar. The altar. Again. Again. And the and the evil messenger, messenger in my house, in my house, and the evil, and the evil messenger, messenger in my marriage, in my marriage, in royal house, in royal house, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the power, by the power of the altar, of the altar, may the fail, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands, lift up your voice, your voice, right, lift up your voice right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, He can make a tune and live. The same who come met to Gaya, the devil who come marry at Asaya, Royal House Chapel. We are dealing with evil messengers. They carry your evil news. They carry messages that are not pleasant. But tonight we declare that the body that has been sent with a message that does not befit your God. They carry a tongue. They carry a tongue. But to die by fire and the messenger that carries the evil news and the messenger. That carries your dead warrant and a messenger in the form of a doctor that will message to you that your sickness is a terminal disease. So, that by the power of the Holy Ghost, we declare let the power of the blood overturn and overthrow that evil news. They carry a news, they carry a word which is not of the Lord, but tonight, and the word that is coming from a messenger, not of God, to bring you down. To kill your spirit uh, to drive you out uh, out of your inheritance uh, so now we declare by your prayer by the altar we declare what is the news uh, you are expecting uh, there are some of you you are expecting uh, the news of promotion uh, but as we are speaking uh, you are hearing other news uh, you are hearing other voice uh, and the other voice uh, and the other message uh, that does not befit uh, your covenant tonight uh, our God and Lord uh, what is the news uh, you are expecting to hear as I speak, contrary, you are hearing other news. But today, our Lord will arise and cut them off. Our Lord will arise and disappoint them. You will not hear the news of demotion. You will not hear the news of satanic and setbacks. You will not hear the news of death. You will not hear the news of terminal disease. You will hear the news that your daughters Jesus. and your sons Jesus. are failing. Lift your, lift your voice. Lift your voice. And begin to pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, child of God. Are you praying an evil message? A sign against your destiny, an evil man. A sign against your house. When they clap by fire, when they clap by the blow, let them be exposed by the blow. Lift your voice. The Bible said 
as soon as Zion travel, say prophet, tonight we declare, wherever they are, let the fire of the Holy Ghost locate them in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, lift your voice. Uh, the Bible said, uh, for the rest of Lord, uh, I can flames uh, and blood uh, by things, uh, principality, uh, I can powers uh, of the dark enemy. Uh, when they clap by the blood, when they clap by fire, let the altar of our Father speak against uh, every evil man, uh, every evil messenger, a sign, uh, a sign uh, against uh, your children, uh, this may be uh, when they Declare, let them forward. The Bible said uh, they sent uh, a message uh, to Napot uh, and they said uh, this year uh, you will die. Uh, but we declare, uh, Lord, if a messenger will come uh, in our dwelling, uh, Lord, if a messenger uh, will come, uh, up in, 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 in the name of Jesus, lift a voice in prayer by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. We declare war tonight uh, by the Holy Ghost. We declare, oh God, arise and destroy any messenger, anybody at all. A sign, oh God, we need for information against us. Tonight we declare every power in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against any evil messenger, any evil news in our family. Tonight by fire, tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. We declare war, we declare fire, we declare war. Clap your hands now. Like Jesus, Jesus, lift it high. Push the prayer yes, tonight. And the evil, evil. must center yes, after your life, after, after your family, Jesus. after all your house. May they aspire, may they aspire, may they aspire. And the messenger, and the after your evil, after your death, yes, after your soul, on the altar, tonight. We come on, let us say, let us say, let us say, clap your hands, lift up your voice, pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare war now. If I like a brother, let them fall now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, every power, any body, any man in the family, in the office, let them fall. Any bad user today, we declare on the altar of our Father, the devil Jesus. is a liar. Fire put the be asada. Leave a suit take a di abando. Come on. Lift up a suit daba. Lift up the prayer. Lift up your voice. Push the prayer. Push the prayer. Lift it up. Shataka. Clap your hands. Lift up the voice. Push it. Patu kasata. A penny a tuni mi kapa. We are coming against bearers of evil news. Any dispatch of evil. The rider of evil. Tonight, as we hold on to the horns, even the horns of the altar, we deny them access by the word of the Lord in our mouth. We come against any evil report, evil messages from the north, evil messages from the south, evil messages from the east, evil messages from the west that are coming into the domain of the righteous. Tonight, by prayer, by covenant, and by warfare, we destroy. By warfare and by prayer, we activate the altar Come of royal house and we hold on to the horse of the altar. Come on. Yeah, we you to you. the rebuna make a cara. Wake kawa la bari. Wake kawa la bari batawa. Su anene. Su ke kawa la bari. La bari abata buna aiki. Yeah, we bang you to make a cara. Masuba chichuki. Usu ke shika atike dufu. Su kawa la bari. La bari subata buna wasa. Yao bagi di yao tere na kadusi mababu sabkwati akra muna rika kafu kafu kubagi di muna adua eradi e na wani ya sumano some ya wadi e white run ya sumano some say ya juma ya ba ya sabwa ya saniota onyamita onyamita ya sanio ena na ju ya saniota ukoko ya ya sani le pray osi prantele ilai kompani wakata. Lift up the prayer. You are praying against evil 
messages. Post the prayer. Come on, now. Shana Mahaya. Ila Makatula me osente. Ike teke belere katula Mahaya. The devil is a liar. The messages are in trouble. By your prayer tonight, let them be buried now. Let the earth open and swallow them. Any evil messenger, carry an evil messenger concerning your marriage, concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your pregnancy. Today you are saying, No, Lord, let the fire of Jehovah expire them now. In the name of Jesus, we don't care who they are, we don't care where they are. In the name of Jesus, the other day the Bible said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Come on. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the light of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Where my enemies are? If evil messengers are, when they come up with an evil message against me, they shall fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. By yes. fire. Yes. yes. Ya bomb pay kutia one hour small. The one fire a wizzy summoner, a ya ya summoner. And then you bomb pay tia one day, one hour small. Fear a perfect year, my mini fee, a prayer at Toya, a tiffy, drop your bush, your bush, your beer, a female, or be a wasman, that okay to bond down for bond and bro, or be a wasman, okay, a ya ya ze, that one bobo, who don't want you, my best, that one will go, and then you read, yeah, papa, now for you, Muchedo, yes, you are just small, there's no just so on, there's no just so on, we are soon as him. Someone said, Fire! Fire! On my other brother's wedding day, he doesn't know this because I've not told him. Whilst the wedding was done and we had the reception at the arena in the Globe Show, somebody walked in to the gift table. Evil messengers. And this was the parcel. Black cloth, six years. Black scarf. Black slippers. And black two handkerchiefs. And it was being taken to the gift table. Lo and behold, I was just there at the gift table. And the evil messenger, Jesus, carry your evil report. Fire. They just want to see you shed. Let them be inspired. They just want to see you cry. Jesus. They never want us to be lifted. Expose. Tonight. Expose. May they expire. By fire. Your response will be expired by fire. And an evil messenger after your marriage. Expired by fire. Fifty percent. We'll go again. And an evil messenger after your marriage. Expired by fire. After royal house chapel. Expired by fire. After mass ministry. Expired by fire. After WMT. Expired by fire. After silo. Expired by fire. After iron dome, expire by fire. After your children, expire by fire. After your promotion, expire by fire. After your glory, expire by fire. Shall expire, expire by fire. So fire, fire, fire. Those evil messengers, when they start their journey, may they never end their journey by fire. May they fall by the blood. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my 
my enemies Jesus. and my foes Jesus. when they shall come up Makaya. to eat up my flesh they will stumble, they will stumble. and they will, fall. they will fall may they stumble may they, stumble. May they fall may they stumble may they stumble may they fall may they stumble may they stumble may they fall If you are putting it together, do it better for Jesus. Now, come on, on me, but then, team. I come from no side of one of Bamboda. But one woman, no one shall say. But once she said, you know, Uncle Walter, what shall I say? I want to be a man, we are about Brahma. And I was in Quasar Brahma. Baby Piala Wolfin, what you are going to do, Uncle Topu? I see Piala Washington as the corner for Uncle Topu, or Giant Shuan, or she wants to say, you know. For surely I would deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. And the snare. Deliverance. 2024. Jesus. May Jehovah deliver us. I receive it. May God deliver us. I receive it. May the horn of the heart. Jesus. May the voice of the earth deliver us. Deliver our house. We receive it. Deliver the church. We receive it. Deliver the first family. We receive it. Deliver our family. We receive it. Deliver our house. We receive it. God sing it. Sing it. Oh, come on, give it to the Lord. A clap and a song. Oh, my God. Now, come on, here if you are thankful in sin. Now, come on, on the ass of you if you are thankful in sin. On the abuse, you are going to want the ass of you. I am Apostle Jen and Mama Rita. One and coupon on GMV or Tamfun is safe. Or Tamfun is safe. Or Tamfun is Or Tamfun is safe. 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 Or Tamfun is Before they forget about themselves, you will be at the airport in the first class. I receive it. They, they, can, can, they cannot recognize you. Hey. Is she the one? Or your one? Or your one? Come on. Yellow. Many of you. May the altar project you. Jesus. Yes. I thought I had a clap of him. Come on, let it go higher. Then descend to Jezebel. Thank you, Apostle Jimmy. Then descend to Jezebel. 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 Saying, Naboth, Reverend John. Has been stoned and is dead. There was some of Jezebel, or the Jezebel, and above. What brought him about? Wait, 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 this year, 2024, when they see you, may they bow their head in the name of Jesus. Then they said to Jezebel, Jezebel, you know already, is powerful. Jezebel has an authority. Jezebel also has a position she occupies. And in this contest, she is the one who was able to take the land from Naboth. Mm. I mean, woman who, and yet, like Atalia, she has power and authority. Whatever she says is final. She is the only one that can command 50 prophets, prophetess, and prophet of Baal. They all serve under her. She is the only woman in the Bible I have seen the major prophet Elijah run away from. I mean, this is Jezebel now. Jezebel, now some of you can't say, you know, Jezebel will too, or I was here, pa. Let me Jezebel, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Jezebel, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. What was some of you? What was some of you? Jezebel, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. But thou, O Lucifer, 
bright and morning star that he who said that I will rise up and I will sit at the northern gate and I will be like God but he didn't know that he would come down to that Jezebel will fall by fire the overcomers in 2023 but this year 2024 we overcome. the altar will fight them in the name of Jesus Ah. They prevailed over us in 2023, but in 2024, we push them back. We push them back by fire. We push them. Come on. Jezebel. The big Jezebel has some here. Can you tell us something? So, Jezebel, Kuya, our tomb. In the Bible, send there. When I knew Bonsama, I don't want to show there. Or better, it's then young Copon. I would have Bonsama or Tunabas as he do. The way near Jenebia be in the end of the year, do twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. In the twenty twenty four, is it? I'm about to Danish Shabian, Nenim Boguasi. Bless you. A woman who can cause a prophet to run away for his life this year you will not run away again amen you will face them eyeball to eyeball shoulder to shoulder Jesus. they will be defeated on the altar Defeat. so far fire Jezebel you know me Elijah when Elijah when you feel grown and then you are a DPR watch the sham on him when you see he in Queen him what the man's another the moment Jezebel heard that Naboth has been stoned and is dead then Jezebel ran to the husband Ahab Ahab arise for the one that you seek it after is dead arise go and possess the very yard and this is where my emotions came up mm. then when I read the scripture the moment Ahab rose up and got to the vineyard of Naboth who was stoned and was dead then the oracle of God spoke this year the altar will speak again yes then the Lord sent his word to Elijah the Tisbite he said servant of God arise go to Samaria there Ahab has thou killed and now you are able to come and possess for the same place blood lick dogs lick the blood of Naboth in the same place blood dog will lick your blood tonight Jesus. wherever they gather Higher. wherever they meet just in their spirit we are may they fall by fire Jezebel, oh man, don't you cry or cool? Now, but you win. You know, to me, can't go look no one have one or they have a quack of assassin, assassin, I was a Bible sender, one or no, I don't know, send it. Now, oh, do one baby, I walk on now, but not assassin, I watch in the mass assassin and a moja or son if he have any chain. The same place. Dogs lick the blood of Naboth and Bodom Bodom to Ahab is the same place. Dogs will lick your blood. What is the prayer? Law 2024. When my might can reach, let the altar fight for me. When my voice cannot go, ah. let the altar, altar fight for me. Jesus. Where Apostle General cannot enter, let the altar fight for him. Where our mother cannot enter, Lord, let the altar of our father fight for us. Yes. Fight the Jezebel. Fight. Fight the witch. Fight. Fight the powers. Fight. Fight the authorities. Fight. May the altar fight them. Fight. God bless you. Baby Biara, young ones in on to Mukoho. Baby Biara, you're in Mizin to Mukoho. Of a fire butcher, he owns the camera. A fire butcher, and cousin Kunime. Baby, be a yen, you see the Yansa on to Munduan. A fire butcher, he owns the Kunime. Stretch out to right hand. This story saddens my heart. A member of West End Assembly, Miracle Temple, Choco, married for several years with a family. They have been looking for house help for so many times, and anyone that comes 
doesn't show a good character so they take the person away then lo and behold they brought somebody from the north who looked so nice and hard working so they accepted her in the house since the day that 16 year old girl entered the house let me put it well since the day Jezebel entered that family everything went dead the husband can't talk to the wife again the husband drove the wife out of the bedroom to the hall when it is food the husband said don't cook the house have cooked better than you cook let her cook chop money I have given it to the house help. go and take it that this young 16 year old lady was able to drive the wife the madame out of the house Jesus. then she occupied the house tonight Fire. after our lives Jesus. murder altar Jesus. first pass them fight them say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I declare tonight I declare tonight by the power by the power of the Holy Ghost of the Holy Ghost I launch I launch I launch I walk and attack and attack against, against the Jezebel spirit, spirit after my life after my life after the church after the church as I clap my hands I, hands I prevail over them prevail over them clap your hands clap your hands push the prayer push the prayer lift up your voice right now by the power of the Holy Ghost the altar will fight for us where we cannot go in the name of the Lord Jesus and the Bible said the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace there is a Jezebel spirit that is fighting your home there is a Jezebel spirit that is fighting your family this year 2024 where your might cannot go where your connection cannot take you where your intelligence cannot take you I see the altar I see the horn of the altar making the way for you in that exams room in that company in your marriage I see the voice of the Lord you cannot go by your might but by the might of the altar the Lord will arise and the Lord will fight for us the altar will speak I see the altar going ahead of you Lift up your voice, clap your hands, fire prayer, pray, 
in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice right now. Wherever you are standing, clap your hands. Wherever you are, let me hear you clapping now. Let me hear you clapping now. We expose them by fire. Any decibel after your life tonight by fire. Let them fall. Let them fall on my right. Let me hear you clapping now on my left. Let me hear you clapping now by your clapping. We chase them out. We chase them out. Out from your marriage. Out from your business. Out from your career. Wherever they are. And the Jesse after your success tonight by prayer. We declare. Yes. Out now. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Chase them out. Chase them out. Chase them out. Every Jezebel spirit after your life, after your family, after your children, after your marriage, tonight, let the altar break them, break them, break them, release fire, clap your hands, lift up your voice, warfare, prayer, prayer, push the prayer, push the prayer, push the prayer, lift it higher, don't get tired, clap your hands, lift up your voice, Overturn their power. Overturn their calculation. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. 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 They are gone. They are living. Your house. They are living. Your church. They are living. Your marriage. They are living. Your ministry. They are living. Your office. Drag them out. Drag them out. Drag them out. Drag them out. Pray. Wherever you are, begin to clap your hands. We are dealing with any Jezebel that is after your life, after your future, after your children. Tonight, by our prayer, Jezebel shall fall, Jezebel shall die. In the power of Jezebel, that have been projected into your marriage, into your children, into your school by the power of the Holy Ghost. May they fall, may they fall. Whatever your strength is limited, whatever your money is limited, by the power of the altar will prevail. But the Bible says that who is in us is greater than he that is in the world. We have the power, we have the authority in the blood and in the altar. Now both do not have an altar. So Jezebel prevailed. But as for us, Empire, an altar. Masuki Fatasa, the blood. A Puki Apatasa, Leke Falu Ataka, Papi Abosaka, Atila Bakosaka. Lift it higher. Lift it higher. You are dealing with the spirit of Jezebel. That one blow. Their actress is in blow. Their tongue. It's a blessing, yes. but tonight, refuse them, clap your hands, pray, pray, Shaka, 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 Shaka,
Come on, clap your hands. We are coming up against every Jezebel in our marriage. Wherever you are, stop your feet, lift up your paws. You are saying, and that Jezebel hiding in my education, and that Jezebel hiding in my marriage. As I clap my hands, I am releasing fire. You are saying, Lord, we expose every Jezebel of our life. They are hiding in that workplace, perpetuating evil plans against your life. You are saying, wherever they are, hiding and chanting, clapping against your life. As you clap your hands in prayer, you are saying, may the Lord expose them. As you clap, you are exposing them. You are saying, and the Jezebel in your marriage, and the Jezebel in your children's life you are saying let the Lord expose them expose them by fire a kundalap ilanadamosha clap your hands lift up your fire lift up your fire lift up your prayer tonight it is a prayer fire it is a prayer altar there is a Jezebel after your life there is a Jezebel after your children the other day the Bible said in Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15 the battle is not yours but the battle is the Lord's hey, Jesus Tonight, we change the location Come on. of the battle fire we send it Jesus into the wells yes Lord the Lord of power the power of the energy what sorry it's yeah yes so yeah boy and summer yeah boy boy yeah join a bitch yeah the boss is here oh baby yeah yeah friendly jessica we clap our hands we fire them on the altar of prayer yes we do to other to your daughter mother can matter what you jesus yes we do to other Joy out to Mother came at the watch you. God bless you. Yes, you are to do that. Joy out to Mother came at the watch you. Just about to do that. Joy out to Mother came at the watch you. Yes, you are to do that. Come on. 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 Yes, Lord <laughs> Shall not die, come on now. But I will live yes. and declare the works of the Lord. Yes. He that is in me hey. is greater yes. than he that is in the world. Jesus. For what then can stand come against us? If God be for us, hey. who then can stand come on against us? Give the Lord a shout. Hey. Yes, we're to to God. God. Joy, I want to for I recall that the sufferings of this present age shall not be compared to the glory which God is about to reveal upon you for the endless expectations of the creators the sun, the moon, the stars, the consolations are awaiting your manifestation Tonight I prophesy, yes, may your glory be revealed. Yes, we to do it. To your glory, watch you. May your glory 
purify. Yes. Has thou not heard? Has thou not known, Isaiah, that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, for he fainted not, neither does he get worry. For there is no setting of his understanding. He gave them might to the weak. And to them that has no strength. Jehovah ate his head. The youth shall faint. And they shall get worried. But they that wait upon the Lord. Jesus. Shall renew their strength. Yes. May your strength be renewed. Yes, we are the one. So you are the one. watch you. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not fit. They shall run and not be weary. 2024 is the year of the supernatural indeed. Receive the glory! I receive it! No Jezebel can bring you down. No personality of Jezebel. Not the authority, the authority of Jezebel. Not the position of Jezebel. If they are high, may the altar pull them down. When I watch the rising of a man was in full for the winner, I'm going to do a quarry. What was going on? She said that. In the Jezebel, we are waiting for you. Yeah, Papa, now for you, we on to If they have seated and they have crossed their leg, may they be stuck the next 20 years. Come on. So I can one hour, but I want an uncle. If in case they have opened their mouth about to release a curse, when they try opening their mouth, yeah. may they be stuck in the position by yeah. fire. So we put one or the no man some more. We put one or one or no uncle. Give me the last one. And Naboth is dead. And Naboth this, will... this Naboth died. But this Naboth cannot die. Come on. Naboth saw Bible will go. But I'm a Naboth to your royal house. Oh, and, uh, let me try this, those who are here. Come on. This Naboth died. But the one standing here, yeah. 2024, Come on. you will not die. You will not die. Naboth is dead. Naboth is about to be queen. But Naboth is about to be weak of the altar. More of them have more online. Baby, be like, what is she? I was a who in Wubida. Jezebel didn't play that game well. You should repeat it again. This number in 2024. Come on. You Ajay. cannot die. Ajay. Jesus. Your children cannot die. We refuse it. Your vision cannot die. I reject it. Your aspirations cannot die. Cannot die. Where your house chapel cannot die. You will not die. <laughs> you cannot die. Come on. Come on. The man that cannot die. Apostle Jesus said, the man that refuses to die. They put him in a tomb. Where have you heard or seen that a man died and they put him in a tomb? And soldiers were guarding the tomb. They were afraid. Why were they afraid? Go to Awudome. There is no police. But when this man died, soldiers, soldiers will follow oh Jesus. Come on. As a soldiers will follow you and bring you your miracle. I receive it. Yeah, Papa, can also be in your tomb. Christ was in the castle when now so your full change your own. What one old bodyguard in the day? So your full of one bodyguard. Now so what's the bodyguard do? Who bodyguard do? What's in Queen Mzi? And a bamboo casting was in the bro. They were there first day, second day, but the third day, this head didn't rise by himself. Supernatural. Come on. Whoa. Thank you, Apostle Jonah. The supernatural. 2024. Jesus. Once you are asleep, your email will beep. Beep, beep, beep. I receive it. Congratulations. Come on. You have gone there. 
U.S. visa. Come on. Ten years multiple. Prophesy. Before you are aware, your phone has received an alert. I receive it. A change is coming. I receive it. Nabot is dead. But Nabot cannot die. Come on. How do I know? This gentleman struggled through the year 2023 like you and I. Man of God. Then the wife took in seed. Three months. It was beautiful. Five months. The doctor said there is a breach. We prayed, believe God, and the baby turned. It means that the baby is coming with the bottles inside of the head. Seven months, they went for normal checkup. The doctor said, there is another breach. We prayed, we believe God. Eight to nine months, they went for last checkup. The doctor says again that there is a breach. Then he called. I said, my brother, which bridge is this? London Bridge. Adomi, Adomi. Adomi Bridge. Also Castle Bridge. Oh, which kind of bridge is this one? We believe God. We tied her womb with the mantle. Last Tuesday, the bridge, London Bridge collapsed. Hey. Come on. The baby came with the Jesus. Help. There was a bridge. They did the scam. It showed that the baby was coming with the bottles. But when the water broke out, when they went to check, the, the London Bridge just fell. Come on. The Aladdin Bridge collapsed. Four. And a bridge. Come on. Over your miracle. Four. Over your testimony. Four. Tonight. Four. May that bridge fall. Four. Last prayer. Lord, in 2024, in the death warrant over my life, I reverse it. Come on. I reverse. That 2024, I reverse. 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 I Jesus. Your fish and prophecy to only one person in the house. Your fishes will not die. Amen. Whoever is holding your obituary in the spirit, going around with obituary from wall to wall, house to house, community to community. Tonight, let that person catch fire. You will not die. Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. I, declare I declare by the power. By the power. Of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Every, death every death warrant over my head, over my head. By, the by the power of prayer, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse, reverse it, pray. pray in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are standing, you are declaring by prayer, you are declaring by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let every death warrant hanging over your head. Let the warrant catch fire in the name of Jesus. And let that sentence over your life, over the life of your children, over your ministry, over any member, over the righteous, over the innocent. Tonight by prayer, tonight by fire, I reverse, I reverse, I stand in the shoes of the Father and I declare, let every death sentence, let the spirit of death let it be swallowed by prayer, by fire. Clap your hands wherever you are standing. Lift up your voice. We deal with every spirit of death lacking over your house, over your business, over your marriage. Don't keep quiet. There is the power on your tongue. This is like that power. This is like the authority. Let the spirit of death let it be arrested by fire, by prayer. Don't keep quiet. There is a spirit of death that has been released over your life. Let it get fried. Let the fire candle out. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Death. Death. 
It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It travels. It travels. It walks. It walks. By night. By night. Afternoon. Afternoon. Midnight. Midnight. Wherever. Wherever. Death. Death. Is coming from. It's coming from. In the spirit. In the spirit. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Scream. Scream. Away. 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 Aspire. 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 Fire. 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 Pray. Pray. Death is a in Paramago Shatter, a Ramakatana Makata, a loud your voice, the lap your eyes, in Paluakata, any spirit of death after your life, after academics, wait your warfare, in Palabata, wait your warfare, wait your warfare, wait your warfare, wait your warfare, shout of God, shout of God, fight this battle, fight this battle, death, death is a spirit, it's a spirit, it doesn't just come, it doesn't just come, it walks, it walks, it flies, it flies. In the night, in the night, in the midnight, in the midnight, in the morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, in the spirit, in the spirit of death, of death, flying, flying over your house, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands, scream, scream, away, 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 over ten, over ten, over ten, over ten, over ten, over ten, I prevail, 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 I overcome, I overcome, I overcome, I overcome, I overcome, I overcome. I overcome. I overcome. Pray. In Let up your Africa. voice of wherever you are standing out in the name of Jesus out, and by the power of the Holy Ghost out, you are declaring out in the name of Jesus out, and then death warrant out hanging over your head out, and then death warrant out hanging over your children out, and the body out that has been earmarked out for death out year 2024 we reverse it out back to the center we refuse to die, we refuse to die in the name of Jesus and the man now that is looking out for your death and the body that is busy and preparing out your obituary will declare to the agents of the enemy let them cut fire, let them aspire, let them aspire let them aspire when they come by the air will declare, let them be crushed in the air in the name of Jesus, if they come by lantern, we declare let them be electrified by the potency of the blood of Jesus. I hear a pelical center in Paliata, Rabasaya, in Paliata, Santa, pray.
I learned something from my people. We call them the guns. When they arrived here, they were hungry and they died through lack of food and hunger. Then they cried and God heard them. And food came. And they prepared quickly and pavlo soup. And then they said, this kind of hunger, we don't want it again. So homo, what? They started clapping their hands and hooting at hunger. Ladies and gentlemen, then I got to know that certain things come by the spirit. Ever since they started hooting at hunger and clapping their hands at hunger, hunger and pushing hunger, they have never been hungry again. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Death is a spirit. Hey. It walks in the night, in the dawn, in the afternoon, when you are not aware, it will hit you. But when you lift up your mantle, Jesus. and you hold the hold of the altar, yes. and you hoot at death, Come on. and you clap your hands at yes. death, and you say, no more. No more. They killed Naboth. Come on now. Naboth is enough. Hey. They killed somebody in your house. Come on now. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. No more. No more. No more. No more. Clap your hands. Come on. Put at death. Come on now. Remove death. Hey. Shout at it. Yes. Drive it out. Come on now. Lock the door. Yes, Lord. And tell them they will not hey, enter. Hey, 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 hey. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Let me see mantle. Yes, Lord. And you jump it. You jump. Running, running, shouting, shouting, like you have overcome. Like you, have overcome. You, and your sons, you and your sons, you and your daughters, you and your, daughters. You and your, children. You and your children. I said you have prevailed. I said you have overcome. Clap your hands and hoot and shout and shame them. Shame Jezebel. That Jezebel. Enough is enough. You touch others. But this Naboth, this Naboth, here tonight, here tonight, no way. This Naboth, in Europe, in the UK, in, a, in America, this Naboth, in Takradi, in Cape Coast, in Kumasi, Bono, Water. This Naboth, pray tonight. I am my house. We are untouchable. Scream it. Say it. Let the devil hear you. Shout. I will sing of your glory. I will sing of your goodness. If I dance, it won't be enough. If I shout, it won't be enough. I will sing of your glory. I will show of your goodness. If I dance, it won't be enough. If I shout, it won't be enough. Say, I will sing of your glory. I will shout of your beauty. If I dance, it won't be enough. If I shout, it will be enough. Say, I will sing of your glory. I will sing of the glory. If I shout, it will be enough. If I dance, it will be Say it again. I will sing of your glory. I will show of your beauty. If I dance, it will be enough. If I shout, it will be enough. For you are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised. Your beautiful voice and to worship. You are the joy. Say so you are. I worship so you.
you know what you have to do if you are praying with us from England from Europe from anywhere around the world connect 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 right now rise to your feet we are so there's no God like Jehovah If you need an envelope, come and pick an envelope. Yesterday, the son of the prophet, 240, 120. And uh, I said, mothers, fathers, if you are here, bring your children to the altar and sow a seed. Today, we are going to pray for your child's education, examination, examination. We are writing the exams on this altar. Run to the altar. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah.
doesn't exist. Oh. You do not lie, you do not say what is hard for you to do. All our worshippers, connect, connect, and sacrifice right now. Connect, 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 connect to the oil, connect to the anointing, connect to the altar. According to your knowledge, according to your knowledge and your will for me, what do you say? I just need to align. I just need to align. Change your mind. Is the Lord doing on the altar of the people of God? What is God doing in this atmosphere of power and presence? Apostle General. Yes, sir. You once taught us that God is a progressive God. Yeah. He's a God of progression. Yeah. That when he begins to work the miracles, yeah. when he opens the door for testimonies, uh -huh. when he opens the door for breakthroughs uh -huh. to come into your life, he does not stop. He continues and he continues and he continues. I invoke the law of progression over your life. Amen. That when God begins the miracle, Amen. it will never stop. Amen. I don't know where the, I've been suppressed from. Whether this place or that place, mighty men, this week of the altar, you have been on fire. Let me do business with you. 
May your miracles start tonight. I receive it. To the first December. I receive it. Receive it. I receive it. Clap your hands and say, My Father. My Father. My Father. My Father. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the God. You are the God. Of progression. Of progression. When you start. When you start. You never finish. You never finish. Give me more. Give me more. And take the glory. Take the glory. So the, prog- the God of progression whom we worship and serve in this house has done it for our sister Sarah. She is celebrating a threefold testimony. Sarah is one of our online members. Testimony number one. She says, during the lockdown in 2020, Royal House Chapel and Powerline TV kept me alive with a constant word from the Apostle General. Clap your hands for the, our television ministry. We never missed any of his sessions, and I have a lot to say about it. I was in a relationship that was going nowhere. Battles internally and externally. It was just about to be called off. Then one day, somebody say one day, during the lockdown service with Apostle General, he announced that now weddings are open for just 25 people. So if you think you want to get married, this is the time to get married quickly. I only said, God, I receive it and I'll marry to the glory of God. Despite all the struggles and challenges in the relationship, there and then, a few minutes later, my beloved called me. Few minutes. Few minutes later. After the prophecy. After the prophecy. May your miracle never delay. Amen. I am talking to only 21 people here. I am the one. Clap your hands and say, I receive it. I receive it. Few minutes after the prophecy. Few minutes after the prophecy. Then the fear. The beloved says, Sarah, the live stream of Powerline TV you sent me says there is marriages now. We are getting married in 10 days. Somebody say, hey. Can I give an outrageous miracle? Yes. After we got the altar on the 28th, the following month, 28th February, you should be married. I receive it. Who is this person who is not running into this miracle? One month after this year's week on the altar, Jesus, you will be led to the altar. Yes, somebody scream, I receive it. I receive it. Let the devil hear you. I receive it. Shout it again. I receive it. Come on, prophesy to 80 people. To 80 people, prophesy. I like it. I like it. My son is prophesying. Listen to the prophecy. Ten days. After the declaration. After the declaration. Jesus. And she goes like, I said, wow. How is that possible? How is that possible? Long and short. In exactly ten days. Exactly ten days. We were married. And no more external or internal force was able to stop the marriage from happening. Ladies and gentlemen, this means that all along the man was ready to marry. But that something kept him away from manifesting the glory. Ayabondi Osaka. Because it is not possible to plan a marriage within 10 days. Except that he had been prepared all along. But the Jezebels. Oh, Jesus. Tonight, on the altar of your father. Come on. May your husband never hide again. 
Amen. Clap your hands and say, come out. Come out. I always said, if you are 34, your husband will not be three year, three year old. If you are 34, your husband is likely to be 35, 34, 36, 38, 40. Meaning that your husband is born walking on the street. He is also looking for you. Oh. Oh. Up here. And in some cases, you have been walking past your husband and you don't know that this is my husband. Yeah. This year, may the Lord open your eyes. Open! Behold, 10 days they were married. 10 days they were married. May this miracle happen again this year. We receive it. Testimony number two from the same sister Sarah. I wasn't employed. I was a nurse awaiting posting. And one day, Apostle General said, during the COVID-19 lockdown services, Apostle General said that in this season, it is quite difficult for you to get employment. But God is going to open the miraculous door for somebody. I was in the kitchen and I screamed, it is my time. The next day, the government opened the nurses' admission portal. The next day? The next day. After the Apostle General made the declaration, the government opened the nurses' admission portal and said they needed to employ immediately to be able to post them to help the overstretched medical staff. There and then, in five days, I was employed. Someone who had been awaiting posting for four years after completing nursing school and national service. Five days by the declaration of the word of God in the mouth of a man and prophet servant, Apostle General, the door opened and she entered into employment. I pray and I prophesy over somebody tonight. May you embrace a miracle in five days. May you celebrate a testimony in five days. In this year, 2024, may the Lord open miraculous door for you. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and scream aloud, I receive it. I receive it. Testimony number three. From the same sister Sarah. Two years down the line after marriage, no pregnancy. It was difficult. During one of the Family Life Series program, Mama Rita was talking about infertility and adoption. Then suddenly she said, even though we are talking about infertility and adoption, my daughter, I speak into your life. You shall take your own seed and deliver like a Hebrew woman. Yes. She said, Come on, go ahead. Your clap offering is reaching the whole world. She writes, I was listening to Family Life from the kitchen and I screamed, it is for me, oh, somebody. May you scream like Sarah and shout at the testimonies, the miracles, the prophecies of breakthrough, of open doors, of open heavens. It is for me, oh. Go ahead. And she says, like joke, like joke. Turn to your neighbor to your right and say that like joke, like joke. Like joke, like joke. The next two weeks, I mean in 14 days, I went to the hospital where I work to check my blood level because I have been feeling dizzy. The woman at the lab said, woman, you are two weeks pregnant. Two weeks after encounter with the oil and anointing. Jesus. May your miracle not delay again. Amen. This year, may the Lord put laughter in your mouth. I receive and it. And dancing on your feet. I receive if it. If you are the one, jump and reach the ceiling and say, I receive it. I receive it. I want you both. Hey. The ocean of the Come on. My The ocean of
I am. I just wanted to catch this aspect. When you catch, the rest will be very easy. Hinyalo means enemies. I mean, in Toka Kakba, their thoughts and their plans. Eko Kranya by me, it will not come on. Go! Hinyalo, I hit you in the Bamo. Eko Kranya, Hinyalo, Hinyalo, Toka Kakba. Eko Kranya, Hinyalo, 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 Toka Kakba. Come on, Eko Kranya. Professor. Professor, <laughs> Apostle General, you better learn this song before the government check comes to drive you out of this camp, out of this city. They will be very happy. They are watching us. They will be very happy that we are singing their song. So, we want the government who is just behind us that he should hear that we are singing. We are an international church, so we sing English, we sing Lagos, we sing uh, Igbo, we sing Ewe, we sing Tree, we sing. Hausa. Ah, we used to sing an Hausa song here. Iloya, Iloya, Taba Isa, Iloya. Go for it. Come on, let's go. Iloya, Iloya, Taba Isa, Iloya. 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 When we went to Gambaga for our crusade, this was the hit song. So we are bringing Gambaga here. Iloya, Iloya, Taba Isa, Iloya. witches camp and we came back alive we are still alive today may you overcome all the witches in your father's house Amen. so she concludes after hearing the news that she was two weeks pregnant she says and I quote I scream like a mad woman somebody may your testimonies cause you to scream cause you to somersault Cause you to jump. Somebody run into your testimony and praise the testimony in this year 2024. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The next testimony. She works with the security forces. Promotion delayed for a long time. Then an encounter with the Apostle General. Yes, sir. Boom. Her promotion. Shall we honor the Lord with a mighty clap offering? Yes. Keep some of the things that must be kept away. All right, right, let's go. Yes. She's, uh, she's in civilian clothing, just for the purpose of you not identifying her. That's right. Our sister, our mother, our auntie Shelley has been divorced 
in the last 21 years. Hey. In other words, she has single-handedly been handling three children. Wow. And you can imagine the financial burden, the stress, yeah. and its attendant difficulties. Yes. And by the grace of God, she had surged on and she had kept on moving. Amen. From 2005, like you rightly said, she works with one of the reputable security agencies in the capital. And from 2005 to 2015, that was when she had a first promotion. It tells you that she had been living in a season of drought <laughs> from 2005. Why am I saying this? Because it is the tradition of her firm that every four years you must be promoted. But in her case, the promotion in her case, had lingered on it for had lingered on for ten years, ten years. whole decade. Clap your hands and say, "Any delay spirit die by fire." Any delay, delay spirit die, die by fire. fire. Again, let me hear your anger. Any delay, delay spirit die, die by fire. For the last time. Any delay, delay spirit die, die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. So what happened? Yes. So. Uh, around this time, she had been watching Powerline TV and then for some reason, she fell in love with your spirit. And so, in 2017, she finally decided that I must pitch camp with the Apostle General. You are a very wise woman. Hallelujah. And when she joined, she took everything seriously, people of God. She went through the ranks, went through Foundation School of Discipleship, and then she graduated. And then week of the altar, 2018, came and then you prophesied in one of those days, and actually you gave a prophetic direction that on that particular Sunday, we should put on our work uniform and anything that is any particular attire, which is our favorite one. Wow. She followed this instruction to the letter. Amen. She came to the service believing God for a miracle. Amen. You prayed on the water and then the oil respectively. She went and applied. She applied and that following season, she was promoted. Hmm. Again, again the round of play. So in other words, a drought of 10 years. What took 10 years for her to gain? When she pitched camp with Royal House, it had to take only two years. It means the Lord had begun a series of breaking ancient barriers and chronic situations. I prophesy over your life tonight. Uh, any protracted issue in your life, tonight and in this season of the supernatural, the Lord will override and overrule. Shout, I hear you. Shout, any season of dryness in my life is coming to an end. Hallelujah. After the encounter, exactly. the following year when the promotions were announced, alas, her name was there. Was a man of God. That is just a teaser. Okay, go ahead. The following year, she kept on believing God. And then, you know, per the rules of engagement, and they were shortlisted for a refresher course. Okay. And for some strange reason, her name was included. Okay. And she engaged the author with every fiber of her being. Mm -hmm. And she said, Lord, I'm believing you for a miracle. Amen. She went for the course, and while she was preparing to go for the course, suddenly the heavens opened. Come on. And the Lord made a way for two of her children uh -huh. to be employed. Uh -huh. Which means that the Lord had taken off the financial burden. Hallelujah. In a way. Somebody, the Lord is doing a miracle right now. In this season of the supernatural. I, I see two wings lifting up the burden from your shoulders. I Shout, I receive it. Man of God, she went for the refresher course. And then she came back. Fast forward. 2023 week of the altar again you were in your element and you prophesied on one of the nights actually the last Friday of the session okay you asked that we should put on our work uniforms our work attire and come when service is over you will invite us to the altar actually to the altar and yourself you will pray you will lay hands and pray okay she was on leave 
this very that faithful day. Okay. But she said, I know this man of God. I remember her. Every word of his has never fallen. Okay. And she came. Even though she was on leave. She was on leave. She came. And then when it was time for them to mount up the stage, people of God, everybody was in a frantic moment to get to the Apostle General. You know, they say proximity is also an indication of your testimony. So everybody wanted to be as close to the Apostle General as they can possibly get. So in the heat of the moment, everybody was trying to get closer to you and she stumbled. It was an embarrassing situation. And amongst the lot of people who were gathered here, for some strange reason, with a prophetic eye, you were able to pick her from amongst the crowd. And you came right to her. And you were tapping on her shoulder. Oh, sister, sorry. Sorry, whilst you were tapping on her shoulder. Because she stumbled and she fell. Yes. Because uh, everybody was heckling. Right. But man of God, while you were consoling her, she was not concentrating. She was your... taking the consolation she as was, a prophecy. She had... It, she May had, your I, consolation become a prophecy. I receive it. When you were saying sorry, she was looking at her shoulder and the man of God tapping on her shoulder where actually the ranks are located. Hey. And she said, if the man of God is tapping on my shoulder, I will wear the rank. It means the heavens are open. Oh, there is a promotion in the atmosphere. Somebody this year, receive your promotion. I receive. receive your promotion. You see how God works. I was only consoling her by touching her shoulder. Yes, sir. But she took it as I was fixing the promotion tag. Exactly. Because as a security man, this is where they put the rank. Yes. May your shoulders be decorated. I receive it. This year, may you wear your crown. In the name of Jesus. And may you sit on your throne. In the name of Jesus. Am I prophesying Revelation chapter number four? Yes. yes. Man of God, around this time she had been promoted to assistant superintendent and she was believing God. So by that singular act, she interpreted it as the hand of the Lord. Amen. Moving her into a next level. Amen. So when service was over, she came here with her children and they keyed into that prophetic act. That's right. And they went home. Lo and, and behold. behold. Just a few weeks ago, our sister had been promoted hmm. to assistant superintendent hey. in her firm. Deputy. From assistant to deputy. To deputy superintendent. Yes. By the prophetic act. I forgive you for demoting her. Yes, sir. By that prophetic act alone, our sister had been catapulted into the next realm. And that's a senior, senior position in the rankings. Exactly. May you reach your pinnacle in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it. Now, this is the icing on the cake. Man of God. Wrap up, wrap up. My time is running. Having taken a panoramic view of her life, she says if she considers the last two decades of her life and the last three, four, five years with Royal House Chapel, she says pitching camp with Royal House Chapel has been the wisest decision and the most powerful thing that has ever happened to her her entire life. Because her life has never been the same again. Clap your hands and to glorify Jesus. Thank you, sir. I hear the Lord saying, I have not finished with you. Jesus. Take it. Amen. And now, the youngest editor of the largest newspaper in our country the editor of daily guide jamila okachri you made a little things i do be less in a celebrate your grace makes a difference just the embarrass me oh i like it Lord. i like the way you do Your grace makes a difference. Just the embarrassing you. I like it all. I 
I chose your testimony tonight because tonight is Students' Day. We are going to be laying hands upon our school children. And uh, we've been doing this year after year. And you have been a beneficiary of that anointing. Your mother brought you to this church, you and your siblings. You were very little. The mother worked for me for 23 years. All my children grew in her mother's hand in my house. Come on. So while her mother was serving the anointing and the grace of God upon my life and Mama Rita in our house, God was also remembering her children. All three children of her mother, this woman with a small mega salary, raised them and they are all graduates to the glory of God's name. Celebrate the power of your father's altar. Celebrate the grace of covenant. I was amazed as I see you coming, singing, dancing, choreography, and so on. I believe in my altar, I believe in my anointing, but your rising has been so quick and so fast. How did you come this far? Daddy, it has been the altar. My mom raised us believing that she can do anything for us except God. And she made us believe in prayer and fighting our battles on the altar. She also taught us hard work, diligence, and humility. And I think that is what I And I believe us. it. While she was serving in my house, she was very diligent, faithful, and hardworking. Continue. So, like I said, it has been God and also the help of you and mommy. God bless you, daddy and mommy. You know our story. And if I say I'll share our story, I'll start tearing. So it has been God. It has been you. You held our mom when we we're going through difficult times and you helped us to be stable and provided a place for us that we could fellowship, make friends and serve the Lord. And I think that is what has brought me this far. So, so, travel us through your educational ladder, um, uh, GHS, SHS, and then first degree, and the second degree, and the many boards that you are serving on, a small girl like you. Okay, daddy, so... We grew up around La, close to Cantonment. So we went to basic school at the Beban Camp Basic School. When we completed, I went to the Social Advanced um, Institute. It was close to the current Legon City Campus. And that is where I had my senior high school. When I finished, I went to the Ghana Institute of Journalism. You didn't go to Achimota? No. You didn't go to uh, Western Girls? No. Every Girls? No. Social Advance? Yes. It is not of him that we live, nor of him that run it. But when the mercy of God falls upon you, the gates will open for you. If you are the one I am talking to, snap your hands and say, I receive it. Continue. Okay, so... Is, is somebody getting encouraged in this building? So after my senior high school, I enrolled at the Ghana Institute of Journalism for a diploma. So I went through the diploma for two years. And then when I completed, I had the chance to do an internship with the Daily Guide newspaper. And that is where it all started. So after my internship, some of my senior colleagues on weekends will call me, can you go for this assignment for me? Because normally journalists, we are assigned to events to cover the proceedings. And then I'll go do the story for them, and then it will be you. So after I completed my diploma, 
were looking for places to do national service. I went to the Daily Guy, spoke to my current news editor now that um, I want to do my national service here. God being so good. Daily Guy is a private institution. So if you are going to do your service at a private institution, you know the institution has to pay the government for you coming to have your service with them. He agreed and then signed my letters and I did my service. And during my service, that was when I had my first award. So in 2016, yes, what, in 2016. What, what was the award? So this is the award given by the Ghana Journalist Association. It's the Association of Journalists in Ghana. And during my service, I submitted my application to be part because you need to be a member before you could be an award winner. So I submitted and then I also submitted a few feature stories. Normally feature stories are not the normal news stories you do. It has to be like 1,005 words, 2,000 words about a social issue. It's not political. It can be social, health, and other issues. So I did a couple and submitted the stories for um, that particular year, exactly. And God being so good, I won an award for that year. And that is how... Was it the 2016 one? Yes, that is the 2016 What's one. What's the name of the award? So it was best writer for... I'm not too sure. There are what are many, so it's a bit confusing. Which one? <laughs> I was my first. Are you celebrating? May you forget about your awards because there are too many. Somebody scream and receive it. All right. So yes. along the line, right. then you went for your degree. So whilst working after the national service, when I won the award, the company decided to retain me. And then during my first year as an employee, I decided to enroll at the Ghana Institute of Journalism again for my top up. That is additional two years to have a degree. So if you are already a diploma holder, you just do two more years and then you get your degree. And I went through that whilst working at the same time. I enrolled at the weekend school. So I go to um, work from Monday to Friday and school Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday. Wow. And then I also read that you have masters in communication and so on. From which institution? So after about four, five years after my degree, I wanted to do my masters, but I didn't want to do it in journalism or typical communication. So I said, why not look out for courses that are aligned to communication, but not exactly so communication. So what course is that? So I did Master's in Brands and Communication Management. Master's in Brand and Communication man uh, Management, from which yeah. institution? From the University of Professional Studies, Accra. UP UPS. UPSA. Shall we put our hands together for... So, how was the news broken to you that you now will be managing that huge portfolio at the top of daily guide now i'm even afraid of you because <laughs> now true. if i'm speaking here and i don't speak well you might put me front page and your pastor and i need to be very careful how did you receive the news okay. how was the news rel relate to you and how did you receive it so i'll say that for me it wasn't a surprise but I wasn't expecting it because the editor at that time was indisposed and they were looking for someone to volume. They, they were looking for someone to man the paper for some time whilst um, he retains. And typical of me, if there's a challenge, I'll accept, I'll go and take it. So I was like, I want to do this. And they were like, are you sure? I said, I'll do it. So I did it the first day, did it the second day. And they realized that, oh, Jamila can man the paper. So they were contemplating, should we put you on probation? Should we wait for six more months? Should we check um, if she can really handle it, especially in the times that we are entering into? And I left it to God. I know I was doing my work um, in the stead of the editor. And 
I said, God, if this is your will, with all the other responsibilities that I have, give me the strength and let this thing happen. So just this Monday, we resumed from work. We were on a break during the Christmas. So we resumed from work. And my news editor, Alaji A.R. Gomda, called me that, oh, Daily Guide won an award over the week for our design of the newspaper. So let's go and show it to the director, managing director. I was okay. So we entered the managing director's office and we showed the award to him. He congratulated us. And then when we were leaving, he instructed my news editor, do a story about her. We have appointed her as the substantive editor henceforth. <laughs> We give you anointed oil. We worship you. The anointing is coming. Why don't you rise up? We are going to do anointing service now. Stretch forth your hands. This same altar that has protected you and your house from when you were a child introduced to this altar and you have gone through all the pains and the sacrifices of the weeks and the months and the days and the years which have gone by. The same altar that has brought you to this lamb light and to the pinnacle of your profession. We ask that this altar will preserve you. The oil will preserve you. The anointing will preserve you. That the hand of God will be upon you. That this journey, you are not alone. But you are with God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. Three of them join all behind you. And that you have the Apostle General and Mama Rita's blessing and our backing. You shall be preserved. You will do well. You will succeed. You will do well. You will succeed. You will bring a turn around and a change. You will win more awards. More awards. More awards. More awards. Your managing director will love your work. The directors will love your work. Your colleagues will love you. And they will submit to your leadership and your spirit. The God of heaven shall prosper you. According to the word of the Lord. We speak that heaven has accepted your petition. May your hard work be rewarded with fulfillment, satisfaction in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Stand with me for the next minutes. I think the editor of the mirror is also in the service. Uh, what, what, what's her desk? A daily graphic. She sits Mirror. at the back. Mirror on sim. Where is she? She's a very senior journalist. I want her to come and shake us with you. And then, is she in the service? What, 
what, what's your post? Are you still? Have you retired? Or you are still in service? Yeah, she's the one. You've been working with Daily Graphic for how many years? For 28 years. What's your current uh, seat at the Daily Graphic? Foreign and diplomatic editor. Can you give the... Put your hands together. See what the Lord So, this is the oil I prayed for you. It's a gift. Take it. Come on, let's give God a mighty praise. See what the with you let them stay around you and if you can take the mantle and then spread it around your children for me if your children are not with you if you don't have a child spread the mantle on your shoulder yourself take the mantle and spread it on your shoulder if your children have their own mantles uh, let them spread it around those of you who have adult children they have their own mantles and so on now the main auditorium has had a serious overflow today. Those of you who have been standing right at the back without seat, thank you. Even though you could have climbed up because of laziness, you decided to stand there. So thank you for your patience and thank you for standing. And then on the other side also, uh, you could have climbed up to go up because we have more space upstairs. But it looks like some of you, your knees are very weak. You can't climb. And so... Uh, help me, give me money I'm going to do the lift and then very soon you shall be having a lift taking you up the clap offering is not good at all after the anointing service all speakers all speakers for this week of the altar and some of the uh, 530 speakers please you join us right at the front and then parents uh, parents will bring their children first and then they receive the impartation and anointing please get anointing oil and then after that the senior students uh, SHS and university you can come on your own you don't need your parents to come with you the JHS and then the primary uh, uh, parents if you can keep the primary children out for me I'll be very I'll be very thankful let's do with JHS 3 because they are in the examination class they are in the examination class so do JHS, JHS 3 but if you're a parent and you have a child who has a challenge in any particular subject and you brought a textbook you can bring join the, uh, the queue with your child otherwise please spare us so we can uh, uh, we can leave this place on time thank you so much uh, Pocho a sofa was the Jumezi and him. You know, my way of five thirteen in an papa but free bin maybe Jim. I have a more oil. Oil now watch in a pocho, Yamba no JHS. I look away in him in a pocho, you both to me the one up and no abed in Pabo. I never must say, Mofamaka come and who baby one and I view who a mass one and I be be one next and a test book. And I want a picture and pocho, both to me the other abed in a mumpa bonibi. Say amen. All right, you don't need to write anything. Just go with me to Psalm 92, verse number 10. Psalm 92, verse number 10. 
Uh, Psalm 92, verse number 10. PowerPoint, today you are very, very slow to my liking. I don't know. If your machines are old, can you buy us new ones and let this thing move very fast? Read the word of God with the loudest voice you can command, including your children. Ready, go. But my horn, you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. Anytime you see horn in the Bible, you see the horn always associated with anointing. The horn is always associated with anointing. But the other revelation that shocked me, I hadn't noticed until when I was preparing for this anointing service. That where you see the horn, you see anointing associated and also you will see that there is a purpose for the anointing and the purpose of the anointing is to deal with enemy situations. Enemies and enemy situation i was shocked i thought anointing was also all, only for favor for goodwill for power i didn't know that when you are anointed the reason god is anointing you is that a certain situation will arise to challenge your god to challenge your faith to fight what you have and the anointing goes ahead of you to take care of what is coming. Tonight, the power is going ahead of you. Yes. Amen. If you go send a new one, baby, now, the monk of Fabian walk on tower one, I'm Debbie, I want one. No more papas know you, and then no more there. Son, I'm go send a soba on your one time for a one time for one year, and I want to share on your busy. See, look at verse number 11 to confirm what I am saying. Verse number 11. My read, read, ready, go. My eye also has seen my desire on my ears hear my desire on who rise so the reason why God anoints you is when God senses an impending danger when somebody is about to arise to fight what you have then the anointing will go before them clap your hands and say my father my father defeat them Defeat them by the horn. By the horn. On of, of anointing. Of anointing. Shout yes. Yes. Both some like a razi do what you could him. On a babenu mungusrenity. In Bibia and Gosra, our babenu bossoy. No, said the obedient can win him. Also, Bonnebro and Tungusan kids in Pokunen McCain. There's nobody here who has never seen a wild ox. The wild ox is that bush cow, and they normally live in mountainous and hilly places. Their horns are long and strong. And God made it so because in the mountains where they live, there are also lions and there are, there are tigers and are wild animals that attack them. And so the horn becomes their strength to fight back, to defend themselves, to protect their territories and to protect their own. Give me verse 12. There's something I'm looking for in verse 12. Oh no. Uh, uh, the verse 10. Give me, go back to the verse 10. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox and have been anointed with fresh oil. That's what I'm looking for. Fresh oil. Let me tell you what the fresh oil does. So that you, you, you don't think that last year's anointing or yesterday's anointing is the same one which is coming to you today. Tonight, fresh one is coming because there's a fresh battle ahead of you. Somebody say, I am a winner. I am a winner. I'm 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 a winner. So I have a farm where I raise cattle and sheep and goats somewhere in the village. 
Papa will be on your emwa and in chi ain as a pumpkin in our home. So, so this day the caretaker sent us a message. The daddy, two of the bulls, the male cows, have been fighting the whole day, and it looks like one is determined to kill the other one. I said, How do you know? He says, The other one that is about to die, blood. Is starting to come from around the horns and that they will not stop fighting the other bully attacks this one and uh, he has no choice than to protect himself and the other one was winning the battle by the seconds and by the minutes so I said what is the answer he says one of them will have to be killed I said which one are you killing he said, I have to kill the weak one because there are blisters around his head already. So whenever they fight and then their horns become weak, the shepherd then uses oil to dress the wounds to get them ready battle for another fight. Today, if your faith has grown weak because of battles, because of failure, because of one situation that repeats itself over and over again. I came here to let you know fresh oil is coming over your head. I receive it. In the real court, to be a bima, it would have one was there, no doletto, what baby, no doletto, a young was rough for the mongoose, the one some day earlier. So get this lesson anointing service is not a day's show and it is over. After this anointing, you are going to face battles. Your horns will be hurt. You have to come back for regrouping and for re-strengthening. Fresh oil. You need fresh oil Sunday after Sunday, week of the altar, week after week of the altar, anointing service after anointing service, communion service after communion service. Every time you need fresh oil. Can you prophesy to seven people in your community and say fresh oil is coming over your head? Fresh oil is coming oh, over Oh, come on, your scream head. it on top of your vest. Let fresh me know you oil are is coming over your come head. Come on, say it again. Tell fresh that seven people. oil is coming over your head. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Say, I receive it. Fresh I oil. I receive it. Fresh 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 oil. I receive it. May your home be exalted like the wild ox. I receive it. In the in our jungle, sir, Otsna and Tukwazi and Gosani Queen, and now Queen Zinti, or the Otsna is signing and goes suffer for. And Gosra, how Obesha was saying, not with the Abrina Brina to call the winning mana Aqua Lukum. First Samuel chapter two and verse number one. Watch that place again. First Samuel chapter two, verse number one. And then the anointing is coming. First Samuel chapter two and verse number one. Read with me with a loud voice. Ready, go. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies because the, the New Living Translation says, This one says, I smile at my enemies. The New Living Translation says, I have an answer for my enemies. And then the GNT says, I have a declaration to my enemies. So anytime you see horn, you see anointing. And anytime you see anointing, you see God preparing you to deal with enemies and enemy situations. Amen. Amen. Anoint your head. Open the oil. Yes, if you don't have somebody, we'll just give you some. We send the message around today. If you didn't get the message, it means you are not in our database. Put some oil and put it over your head. So whilst one hand is on your head, another hand is on your children's head. Scream after me, thou anointed my head with oil. 
Thou anointed my head with oil. I didn't hear you. My head is anointed with oil. My head is anointed with oil. My horn is exalted. My horn is exalted. I am battle ready. I am battle ready. And I'm winning this battle. And I'm winning this battle. Because thou art with me. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. They comfort me. And thou preparest a table. And thou preparest a table. Before me. Before me. In the presence. In the presence. In the presence. In the presence. Of my enemies. Of my enemies. Anoint your forehead. Anoint your forehead. Say, my father. My father. Let my face shine with your glory. Let my face shine with your glory. Where I was refused before. Where I was refused before. Where the door was closed before. Where the door was closed by before. By the power of the anointing. By the power of the anointing. Let the door open. Let the door open. 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 By favor. By favor. By covenant. By covenant. By goodwill. By goodwill. By mercy. By mercy. Open. Open. May this say yen yama made ya pare chere. Baby be a what to your punum. On the end of the day, you will be able to get your hand with the oil. Rub your hand with the oil and put the oil on your seat. Slap your hands very hard and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I, I have been leading week of the altar for many years. This year, you are very aggressive. I love that. Say, clap your hands and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord reward your aggression. Amen. May the Lord reward your aggressiveness. I receive it. May the Lord reward your faith. I receive it. Clap your hands and say, my father. My father. If you anoint me. If you anoint me. It means. It means. Some horns are coming. Some horns are coming. To fight my horn. To fight my horn. Exhort my horn. Exhort my horn. Lift up my horn. Lift up my horn. Anoint my horn. Anoint my horn. Strengthen my horn. Strengthen my horn. Empower my horn. Empower my horn. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That any devilish horn. Any devilish horn. Satanic horn. Satanic horn. Enemy horns. Enemy horns. To thwart my effort. To thwart my effort. To frustrate my effort. To frustrate my effort. To take away my veil. To take away my very yard. To take away my very yard. To take away my very yard. To take away what belongs to me. To take away what belongs to me. To to poison my children. To poison my children. Their minds. Their minds. Against my God. Against my God. And their destiny. And their destiny. And their future. And their future. By the mantle. By the mantle. Of my father. Of my father. By the mantle. By the mantle. Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. By the mantle. By the mantle. Of this altar. Of this altar. As I clap my hands. As I clap my hands. I face. I face. Every Enemy. Every enemy, and I have answer, and I have answer for them. For them, I will smile. I will smile at my enemies. At my enemies, I will have an answer. I will have an answer, and I have a word. And I have a word for my enemies. For my enemies, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I prevail. I prevail by the oil, by the oil of the home, of the home of Jehovah, of Jehovah. Let my home, let my home be exalted, 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 open your mouth, open your mouth. Make a, Make a declaration. What do you want? What do you want from this oil? From this oil. What do you want? What do you want from this anointing? From this anointing. What do you want? What do you want? Make a declaration. Make a declaration for your children. For your children. Your grandchildren. Your grandchildren. Born, born and unborn. And unborn. For yourself. For yourself. And for your future. And for your future. Prophesy. That the oil. That the oil will bring. Will bring exaltation. Exaltation. Elevation. Elevation. And lifting. And lifting. Promotion. And lifting. And lifting. Promotion. Promotion. Lifting. Lifting. Promotion. Promotion. From the auditorium. From the auditorium. To first. Level, to first level to second level to second level clap your hands clap your hands pray pray place a demand place a demand place a demand place a demand on the oil on the oil place a demand place a demand on the anointing on the anointing place a demand 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 what do you want what do you want 2024 2024 pray pray go ahead place a demand on the oil and the anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus we got the order 2024. The Lord will exalt the homes, and the Lord will exalt your homes like the horn of the wild ox. Blessed demand. What are you looking for? What are you searching for? If it's for your children, are you praying for your children? Are you praying for your family? There is a desire, there is a request. The Bible said the desire of the righteous 
shall not be cast short. Blessed the man. I hear the Lord say, I hear the Lord say this anointing, this anointing will, go ahead, will you, go ahead of you in your examination, in your, examination, in your, interviews, in your interviews, in your travels, in your travels wherever, you go, wherever you go, the oil, the, oil, the, anointing, the anointing will go. Will go and when the enemy, by the enemy is, coming, is coming at you, at you your home shall, shall be lifted. Your home shall be exalted. Your home shall be exalted because of the power of the anointing. The church is in prayer. The church is in prayer. The church is in prayer. The church is in declaration. The church is in a warfare. The Lord has already warned you. Don't wait. The enemy is coming. And the reason for the anointing is to face that devil. To face that enemy. Release the anointing to go. 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 Release the oil. Release the anointing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see the anointing. It is fighting for your home. I see the oil. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. It is time to put the oil into action. There is a shift. There is a move. There is a shift in your favor. The horns of the altar have been activated. Your desire shall be met. The Lord shall exceed thy expectation according to the exhortation. Anoint you oil. Let lift up your voice. Anoint you oil. Clear the altar for me. Anoint you oil. Pastors, can you do that quickly? Dr. Noss, you can join us. Pastor Rita, you can join us because we need more. Thanks. Mighty men. Two mighty men are serving the pastors. One is directing the queue and the other one is making sure that the queue is running and the queue is flowing. If you're a pastor and you made a first class, can you join us? You're a pastor and you're a first class student. You made a first class or distinction at your master's. Join us. I need more hands. Two mighty men, one in front, one by the pastor. Two mighty men, one by the pastor, one in front, directing the queue for us. Parents with children who are writing exams this year, can you come forward right now? Can you come forward right now? When you are coming, just come. The ushers, uh, the mighty men, mighty men, that place will be very congested. We are directing them from there and then you let them flow. So, can you move a little bit? Can you move? Reverend Adam, can you move a little bit? Let there be space. Let there be space. Those of you who are not involved in the anointing, the service is over. You can go home. Altar deacons, come and sort yourself out. But if you are here and you are waiting, you are coming with your children, please come. And then hands will be laid out on them. And then hands will be laid on their books and their instruments. Please do that for me quickly, mighty men. Mighty men, let the king flow. Let the mighty men, mighty men, mighty men, mighty men, mighty men. Where are the mighty men? Where are the mighty men? To the Lamb of God forever. Parents, join the queue. Join the queue from there. You'll be directed from there. SHS students, we shall call you. University students, we shall be calling you. Professional students, we shall be calling you. After the prayer, you can sow a seed. After the prayer, you can sow a seed. Tomorrow, you are fasting on your own. And you break on your own. Sunday is easy go. We break after church. Go on the phone. Invite somebody. Tell them it is testimony time. 
At Royal House Chapel, week of the altar. Let the queue flow. Let the queue flow. When they finish praying, they shouldn't go back. After prayer, don't let them go back. They must penetrate. After prayer, they shouldn't go back. After prayer, after the prayer, let them flow. Let the queue flow. SHS, university, professional examination. Any examination, join the queue. Join the queue. Bring your textbook. If you have the person's picture, you can bring the picture. The person's phone, you can bring the phone. When you are coming, be praying. Be praying when you are coming. Blocking us, you are blocking us. All too soon, the first week of Week of the Altar has already come to an end. If you are waiting to catch up or you are waiting to take it seriously, time is running out. Tonight, once again, was something else. The atmosphere was charged. The altar was packed. People were receiving. We pulled down every Jezebel in our lives that is trying to circumvent us and trying to destroy our businesses, our academics, our futures, and everything that concerns us. We overturned every spirit of death, and we declare that everybody that partook in week of the altar 2024 shall see the end of 2024 in Jesus' name. There's a prophetic act going on on the altar currently. Students, exam writers are receiving prayers on their books, their items, that the Lord will go ahead of them in every exam, and that the spirit of excellence shall follow them. And year after 
a year we have done this and it has been working. Our students excel and get the best of schools and best of grades because of this prophetic act. We are exalting the horn of the altar that the Lord shall go ahead of us in Jesus' name. We are going to speak to some people and find out what it is that they have received this week of the altar so far. What has been your impression of week of the altar so far? What has your impression been of the week of the altar so far? So far, it's been a place of hope for me. I feel like the testimonies especially you know, make me know that I have, I have something I'm asking for God, from God, and God will answer it because I can see God doing it for people at the week of the altar. So he will also do it for me. So it's a place of hope for me. Amen. She said that the testimonies that come from this altar elevate her faith and make her know that truly God is in this house. What is something from tonight that you will never forget, that impacted you, that you will never forget? Not only from tonight, but from some previous nights this week, that when God starts to work on you and give you your miracles, it doesn't come in one fold, it will come in multiple fold. For that, I know he's a God who is continuing to bless me, so for that I'm expectant. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. We are speaking to some people who are partaking in the week of the altar. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I can see you have your mantle. What is it that you want your mantle to do in your life? This year, 2024. This year, 2024, the Apostle General told us that the mantle will speak for us. And when we wore the horn of the mantle, or the horn of the altar, the, the elevated space or the elevated level, the Lord is lifting us and is putting us on a higher level. And so whatever that is defeating us, whatever that is fighting, whatever that is, Causing us troubles in our lives. When we pray with the mantle, there is an elevation and there is the spirit of the Lord takes over the, the battle. Amen, amen. With Jezebel, did you pull down tonight? Tonight I pulled down the, just the spirit of Jezebel. The Jezebel that has held us back for many years, has held our parents, has held our lives have held our marriages, have held our progress, our job breakthrough. Tonight on the altar, we put down that power of Jezebel. Amen. And tonight and throughout the week of the altar, there have been powerful testimonies that we have been hearing. How have their testimonies elevated your faith to trust that God can also do it for you? In fact, the testimonies has elevated my, my faith and my, my, my expectations so much that my prayer and my dedication and my commitment to this prayer is in another level where one person has series of testimonies to share. And I, I believe that this year we will all have such series of testimonies to share to the glory of God. Amen. God bless you for speaking with us here on Powerline TV. because there are so many testimonies that have come from this place. Even tonight, we witnessed a testimony from a member who consistently visits the altar year after year. And today, she's the appointed new editor for Daily Guide. So this altar is potent, and I advise every single student to partake in it, just like I am doing. Amen. How many times have you joined us here to pick up the altar? So this should be my third year in a row, joining week of the altar. And how is the atmosphere and the anointing in this particular year distinct from the previous years? And why should people not take it for granted that they have joined so many times in the past? Why do they need to specifically continue to join this one? Okay, so just like the Apostle General said, every season you need 
fresh oil for the journey ahead. So for 2021, I got the oil for that season. 2022 had a different season. 2023 and now you need a fresh oil for the battle ahead. So it keeps going on and on and on and you shouldn't take yourself out of it. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. So you heard it from a student that in spite of her studies, in spite of her schedule, she found herself here at the week of the altar, believing that her life will never be the same again. She brought her books, she brought her items to the altar, that they will be impacted, that as she goes into class, as she goes to write the exam, the Lord will go ahead of her, and her life will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. I want you to tell me something tonight that really impacted you, that you are leaving here with. So tonight, it was as if the program was meant for me. The prayer topics were just in place. When they asked us to pray for the spirit of death, I mean, I always pray for the spirit of death, but the way he backed it with the scriptures and everything was just it for me. And tonight was amazing. From Monday till today, I've really enjoyed myself. And it has just been for it. That particular prayer topic of praying against the spirit of death was just it for me. Amen. I can tell you have your mantle around your neck. How are you utilizing the mantle to fight battles for you in 2024? The mantle plus the blood plus the altar is fighting my battles. 2024, as the Apostle General said, our battles are ending this year. And I believe the mantle is helping me in my academics. Even if I'm going to write my exams, I wrap it around me. And I believe I'm going to come out victoriously. Amen. Today we had two life-changing testimonies. Somebody who got immediate relief and an immediate testimony from the altar. And somebody who has served this altar her entire life. And finally, the altar has elevated her and honored her faith. How did that encourage you and how did you connect to those testimonies? Personally, that, that testimony gave me goosebumps. I don't know. I hear testimonies all the time and I'm like, oh, okay, okay. But this particular one was just it for me because... I don't understand how all of a sudden, though, I've been, I've been in that situation before where the Lord, you know, changed my life in just a second. So I could really relate to it and I've connected to it and I believe the Lord is going to work something in my life. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. You've heard it from people who have joined us at Week of the Altar 2024 and they are believing that their lives will never be the same again. Thank you for joining us. Are you a student? Yes, please. I'm a student of the University of Ghana. And as a student of the University of Ghana, the prophetic is going on behind us where we are bringing our books and petitioning the altar to go ahead of us in our exam. How are you connecting and how do you believe that this act is going ahead of you? Year after year, I've been to week of the altar and one thing that is my favorite part of the service is when they pray for students. And then I believe that this anointing service is not going to be different that as we encounter God, as we have anointed ourselves, as we go and have, they lay hands on our, our exam tools, we will experience the power of God and we will come out with flying colors. Yeah. What will you say to someone who is not fully immersing themselves in everything we do here, who is not following all the prophetic acts and the instructions? How would you encourage them to do so? I would say that there are so many testimonies that have come out of this. And then there are so many testimonies that we've seen, many we've heard, many we have experienced. And I believe that if you put yourself in it and you're a part of it, you are going to have numerous, numerous testimonies. Testimonies for academics, testimonies for work, testimonies for finances. And then the Lord is going to see us through everything. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for speaking to us here on Power Line TV. Amen. You heard it here that they are lying they believe that their lives are never going to be the same again. They are holding on to the testimonies. They are holding on to the tokens. They are holding on to the atmosphere. They are holding on to the prophetic acts and they are believing God that they are not wasting their time here at week of the altar 24. That their lives will never be the same again. That the Lord will follow them each month of the year because as the Apostle General said, this is the year of angelic assistance. May angels follow you everywhere you go, in your academics, in your work, in your family, in everything that concerns you, as you continue to connect, as you sacrifice and you hold the, on, the horn of this altar, may your life never be the same again. In Jesus' name, 2024 week of the altar, be strong, be courageous. Amen.
Welcome back, welcome back. Wow, such fire, such power. My goodness, angelic assistance everywhere, testimonies abounding. My goodness, this has been week of the altar, day five. And the fire has been firing. The, 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 the arena of prayer has been hotter than hotter. Oh my goodness, it's been awesome. Um, I am here again with my guests. They are welcome, Pastor and Doc. Yeah. You are welcome. Thank God you. bless you for Thank joining you. us again. Oh Thank my you. goodness. Please, tell me how you felt the prayer tonight. Send us your messages. Let us know what went on in your, wherever you were watching from. All right, Pastor, Pastor, um, Benis. It is getting hotter and hotter. Very, very, very. I mean, the way the Lord is moving us from mm. one level to another, mm. from day one, mm. it looks like now we are in some altitudes <laughs> I can't even measure. But, uh, Tell me, how was it for you? Tonight was something else. I mean, it just crowned the week. Oh, Jesus. It's been powerful. Mm. God has really come down. Jesus. And our altar is speaking. Tonight, I felt the presence of the Lord. Jesus. The Lord used his man's servant mm. and he led us into some powerful prayer times. Hey. And trust me, you see when I came earlier on, my mantle it was on my lap. Hey. But now it's on my lap. Hey, 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 hey. Let me tell you, hey, hey. hey I am in another realm. Amen. I am in another realm. It's been awesome. My goodness, your, awesome. your horn has been exalted. Exalted. You are fighting battles. Hey. You are and receiving am, fresh oil. I am going to win every hey. For 2024 hey. has touched me. Come on now. My mantle has been anointed. Katabara My children has been anointed. Kaboro All those going to write exams, mm. they have been anointed. Mm. My home. Hey. I mean, victory. Check. Victory. Check. Come on now. Victory. Check. Hey. Victory check. We are victorious. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You shall also be victorious. Amen. Your head will be exalted like the horn of Amen. the unicorn. Amen. Like the wild ox. You will Amen. fight your battles and you will not lose any battle Jesus. in 2024. Amen. Doc, hey, she's checking things. Yes. Please, tell me some well, prognosis. It, it, it's been Diagnose the animal. <laughs> 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 it's been wonderful and great. <laughs> And because of the oil, they mm. are always testimonies. Come on now. Testimonies. Come on now. And, Come on now. and today we had mind blowing testimonies. Jesus. And we, you know, we had people who were serving in the house, <laughs> and this oil has lifted oh them to higher oh levels. My God. We had the oh my editor God. of oh one of the big papers in, in town. Jesus. And that shows what the oil will do. I want you to know it doesn't matter where you are coming from. The oil upon the man of God and on this altar will give you that miracle you are looking for and will take you to the next level. We will not die, we will live to we declare will live. the we will live. of God. We will live. Amen. Oh my That's goodness. what doctor has said. Hey. Mm. You see, what I like about the testimony mm. of the lady is this. Listen to me. It doesn't matter where you start from. Mm. It doesn't matter where yes. you start from. Mm. Amen. As long as you are connected to an altar, yeah. that altar will transform you. In God. the name Amen. of Jesus. Did you hear the school she went to? Yes, yes, yes. She didn't go to one of those No, 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 no. She started from somewhere. Yes. Oh. But today, she was the one standing on the altar mm. testifying. Jesus. God can do it. He can yes, do it. He can do it. It is possible. Mm. It is possible. When I say victory check, it is checking because I know where I'm coming from. Hey, exactly. You know where I'm coming from. And I know from. where I have got to. Come on now. When they are counting, mm. they shouldn't count Jesus. Mm. But this altar has, has spoken for us in the name Today of Jesus. Today we have the testimony. Mm. Listen to me, my dear. It doesn't matter where you are, mm. it doesn't matter where you are schooling now. Just be serious with your books. Yeah. Like the testimony we had today. You are next on the line. Amen. Amen. Just steady her. Amen. You hear your Amen. Amen. Keep your messages coming. Um, from Cecilia Bichim. Good evening. Powerful revelation by God's servant, Apostle General. Kindly pray for me that the Lord will help me obtain a visa and fully fund a scholarship to study in Germany or Canada. This year, where my family can join me also. I also pray that my, my husband in Italy gets a good paying job. Wow. It is settled on in the, the, altar, name, in of the Jesus. name of Jesus. Amen. It is settled. Amen. It says, may your oils never run dry in Jesus' mighty name. We Amen. receive it in Jesus' Amen. name. 
My name is uh, Koku from the UK. Men of God, good evening and mighty, mighty, mighty blessings. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I will graduate with first class Amen. with a GPA of 3.82 in the name of Jesus. Amen. The altar of my father has spoken. Amen. It is done. It's done. It is Jesus. done in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, someone also said, thank you, thank you, God. My horn is exalted. A fresh oil has come over me in the name of Jesus. I am blessed in Jesus name. Another one says I move from my current limitations to a higher destination in the name of Jesus. I am a winner. I receive fresh oil. You see the, the, what, what people are declaring. They are declaring because they have had an encounter with God at the altar. The difference of our sister was because she had an encounter at the altar. That's right. She, she, she was from far away. Mm. She was not in a highly top league school. Mm. But God picked her from behind mm. and mm. brought her forward. That is what God, when we say the author is speaking, that is what it's saying. That's mm. right. When you hear her testimony, she enters to her manager's room, to her manager's office, to, be, to just announce an award they have won. Mm. And when she was coming out, mm. she received a declaration and good news. Yeah. May you receive good news as Amen. you walk out of your room. Amen. May you receive good news wherever you are. Amen. May any negative messenger never bring you bad news. In the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh my goodness, the mantle speaks. Tonight, I want to let you know, it is not over. Mm. Saturday, we encourage you to fast on your own. All the prayer topics that you prayed, the ones you wrote down, mm. This is the time you and God. And Bible says, and Jacob was left alone. Mm. Saturday, Sunday, you are fasting on your own. S Saturday, we are not meeting here, but you can fast with your family and continue the prayer topics. They list them and start from day one till day five. Just pray them from morning till evening with your family. And I believe that God will visit you. Amen. On Monday, we'll also be here again in the studio and we'll be at the arena of warfare. Yeah. Sunday, make a date with us at the Oil Dome with the Apostle General. Dress down, come, no makeup, just put your scarf, wear your jeans, your t-shirt, and come, and let's have an encounter with the oil of the, of the Father. Mm. And your life will never be the same. Mm. Amen. Yes, please, I want us to do something. Tell someone what to expect next week. If this week ended with such hot fire, mm. Pastor, just start. Then, Doc, you conclude. Okay. So, you see, on the 31st of December, as the Apostle General led us into 2024, mm. he declared three things. Come on. He said, this year, 2024, mm. is the year of supernatural. Come on now. Supernatural help, mm. supernatural recovery, mm. and supernatural reward. reward. Listen to me, it mm. has begun. It has begun. The first week has mm. been awesome. Mm. The second week hey. is going to be something else. Jesus name. I know, as the man of God has declared the three things, mm. I don't know what you received mm. in week one. Mm. But as for me, in week one, I have taken supernatural help. I receive it. In week two, mm. supernatural restoration is coming. I receive it. Amen. And supernatural reward is mm. coming your way. Hey, I Just receive it. Make sure you are in the arena of mm. prayer. Mm. If you have joined us online for the first week, if you are in Accra, please make your way to the oil door. Don't sit at home. Fast with so us. And I can assure you, Rebo these three things that the man of God has declared mm. into Rebo our life will come, come, come to a manifestation Rebo in your life. Rebo you will not only hear them, mm. you will not only Rebo say them with your mouth, mm. but you will testify Rebo them. You will physically Rebo encounter it. In the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. 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 Doc, tell someone, um, what to expect next week? I think that every day the oil flows mm. and the anointing is flowing. Mm. And next week will be something ah. else. Ah, I'm mean. expecting that God will move in a mighty mm. way. You know, Hannah said, he said, my heart rejoices in mm. the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. Ah. I smile at my enemies. Come on now. Because I rejoice in your salvation. Come on. 
you need to be connected to God yes. and to an altar. Yes. Like we said, we read about Naboth. We read about Adam, Peter. They were going to be killed. Mm. But you need the supernatural. supernatural. And if you are there, maybe you've been doubting all these things. Mm. I am a medical doctor. But I know that God mm. rules That's in the affairs of men. Come on. Maybe you are not connected to any altar. Jesus. Maybe you have not accepted Jesus as mm. your Lord and personal mm. Savior. Mm. I want you to know that you need to surrender to Jesus, Jesus. and to this altar. Mm. If you are there, I want to pray with you shortly. You want to say that these things I don't believe, but today I want you to surrender to Jesus. Surrender. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I come before I you. surrender to your Lordship. I surrender to your Lordship. Take me. Take me. I will serve you. I will serve you all the days of my life. All the days of in my Jesus life. name. In Jesus. So name. next week I'll be expecting Royal House Chapel, Oil Dome, hey. and come and join us, and your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Let me let me end with this awesome testimony. Mm. And then we'll call it a day. Good evening, family. I'm a young teenager who loved Grandpa Apostle General <laughs> from afar. I joined the 31st service on Facebook, and I also decided to join the Week of the Altar 2 on Facebook. Because I can't afford unleavened bread and honey, I always act as if I have those tokens in reality. I am... I, I, I swallow the air and I swallow everything and every token. <laughs> hey, my goodness. Just this evening, I went to buy spaghetti mm. with my younger sister. And she asked me not to cook the food outside. But I told her the kitchen is hot and didn't listen to her. So I finished cooking and she said she's not going to eat the food. So I prayed on it and quoted the exact words of Grandma Rita. When, the, when we eat poison, it will taste sweeter in our mouth aish, and won't aish, harm us. Aish. After eating half of it, I vomited it all out Jesus. and decided to continue the rest because it might be normal vomit. But after eating everything, I joined the service because I fast from 6 to 12 noon. So when we were praying about any spirit of death on us, I placed my hand on my tummy mm. and prayed seriously. Mm. Lo and behold, I vomited everything mm. out wow. mm. immediately. I have never let vomit stop my prayers. The more I prayed, the more I vomited. Everything out onto my tummy was empty. Mm. I am saying this to the glory of God, and I'm happy my prayers worked. Amen. Ah, glory to God. Look, you shall also testify. Amen. We are not joking. This is a testimony she sent. Because the woman of God had prophesied. Yeah. Sunday, pitch camp with us. Mm. Monday, next week, then following week, and the following week, pitch camp with us. Mm. Your life will never, never be. ever be the same. This is week of the altar. Week one, day five. Mm. Be courageous. Be strong. strong. Your testimony is abounding. Amen. Amen. We stay Amen. blessed. Um, Pastor, will you pray, pray for yeah. all our viewers for this week? That this coming week, they, those who can fast, they will fast better. Those who want to join us will be able to join us. And those who want to be part of this commission will also be part. Father, in the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, we want to thank you for a successful week. Amen. Week one of week of the altar 2024. Thank you for seeing us true, mm. God. Mm. Now we commit the weekend into your hands. Jesus' name. And we commit next week into your hands. Jesus' we name. ask that anybody, oh God, mm. that has watched us throughout week one. Jesus. And is desiring to fast with us yes, in Lord. next week, oh God. Yes, Lord. We ask that, Lord, you will make way for them. Yes, Lord. And now we pray for them, oh God, mm. that let the hand of the Lord find In the name them. of Jesus. Make way where there seems to be. In no the name way. of Jesus. Jesus. Every hindrance we pray that you shall take it off their mm. way. Open the way for them, O oh God. Mm. Make way where there seems to be no way. Yes, Lord. Speak for them, O oh God. Those who need money for transportation mm. to church, Jesus. may you grant it unto in them. In the name of Jesus. And those who for various reasons cannot join us in the church, but will continue to join us online. Yes, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And even as they connect online, Next week, oh God, may they encounter the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. May they encounter the supernatural. Mm. May they encounter the supernatural. In the name of Let Jesus. Let the oil in this house 
be transported and touch them wherever they are, mm. that they shall receive testimony abounding, O God, in abundance. We want to thank you. We want to bless you. We give you glory. Yes, Lord. We give you honor. For even that which we haven't asked, Hallelujah. we know you will do it, O God. Bless us, O God, and bless all those who listen to us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 God richly God bless, bless you. you. Our sister from, from Canada says, Good evening. I am enjoying this week of the altar 2024. Amen. May you also enjoy this week of Amen. the altar. May you enjoy the weekend. Amen. My name is Reverend Anthony Labi. I've been here with Pastor Bennis and Dr. Winfred Barr. And we have enjoyed this session and the prayers. And I know you also enjoyed. Stay blessed, live long, and we love you. Love you I love too. you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.